I'm just, I'm just. Hello, everybody. Oh wait, I forgot. I get to show off a thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you guys don't mind, I'm just gonna be kibitzing because I just I don't feel good. Kibitzing. Kibitzing, yeah. <clears throat> what have you never heard of that? Yes. It's a Yiddish word, honey. Yiddish word. Yeah. Yeah, the Yiddish say it. <clears throat> Mom, what's the what what's kibitzing mean specifically? Um, backseat driving. Ah. You didn't know. That. No, I didn't. Okay, I'm gonna put my headphones no. on. No, I don't think either of us did. Okay. Okay, just because I need to write. If you're not streaming, I've got a bunch of shit I need to be writing. Okay, go right. I love you. Okay, love you back. Is your mom doing nano? Huh? Is she doing nano or No. I Dang. didn't even understand what he asked. Nano or It's a fucking, fucking writer word. word. Like, like people, people who can't, can't read, read don't understand it. There's no definition. It's a so month dedicated to writing, etc. Essentially, there's like a goal at the end of the month, or maybe that's Camp Nano. I don't fucking know, but there are two different events. No, there's a goal. And my partner is an ML this year. I don't get it, but that's because I don't read, and it's got nothing to do with the validity of the uh, thing. Yeah. Big words, Mangus. I got you. Awesome. They had extra pocket space for the syllables this time. Oh my god. I've used all of my pocket space. Also, Alita, I love your freaking pinch now. I didn't realize Geekster finished it. I was kind of keeping it quiet. Well, too bad, because you're on my screen. I know. Is yes. that what you're showing off? Mm-hmm. It looks nice. Geekster does a good job. Geekster does do a good job. Oh my goodness. Minecraft is lagging out on your stream. What? No! Oh. Yes. Yeah. Oh, thanks. I'll swap with you. I already have back issues. I don't care. I just got this desk chair. <laughs> I just got this one. Well, I thought better. <laughs> I enjoy my desk chair. But I do have I back enjoy issues. my disc or my desk chair. I just also want to be able to curl up because I'm feeling like oh. That's valid. My aunt has like this amazing massive armchair that was spinny and you could like fit an entire 200 person 200 pound person in there and it was so comfy Almost i would just let it pounds, swallow right? me <laughs> huh? damn it would not Perfect. fit me <laughs> yeah i said only 200 pounds price no i was spe <laughs> specifying because i am 220 pounds I'm teasing, because I'm, like, damn near six feet tall and almost 300 pounds. That's not bad for being that tall, though. Yeah. It's Built bad. like a bridge, though. You're adorable, <laughs> shut the fuck up. No, seriously, I'm, like, very rectangular. <laughs> like, they're, like, I don't... Such a long like, torso, it's very, unreal. Like, bridge-like. 
He does kind of look like a fridge Loki. There's nothing yeah. wrong with that, though. I love him. Exactly. He's my favorite fridge. <laughs> he is also my favorite fridge. He's not allowed to be your favorite fridge. He's my favorite fridge. We can't have the same favorite fridge. No, family. we can't. Find your own fridge. Damn. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Yo, why? Why? What? Grr, bark, 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 grr. Why, why? Okay. Oh my god, the Discord reactives are <clears throat> freaking the fuck out for some reason. <laughs> it's okay. All, it's I'm here. They're dancing. I don't know what the issue is. Okay, let me try Minecraft again. Nah, cause wait. There, wait. There we is go. Is Minecraft not gonna work today? No, I was waiting for everybody's reactives to like behave and calm the fuck down, cause they were oh, all oh, okay. they were all like dancing. My bad. I have a little boogie in me sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. It's the season. Can I tell you what I fixated on? Yes. I decided last minute that I would draw myself. Yeah, my stream is not having fun today. Whoa. Holy guacamole! Why? We could just do a just chatting stream. I mean, fair. You know what? I'm gonna go live, and I'm gonna go live just chatting. So, but I'm gonna I'm almost finished. You wanna see a sneak peek? Yeah. And if we are just doing a just chatting stream, I can actually go live too. Yeah, because... I'm gonna switch over because I don't know why. It, so cute. Yeah. Like and then I'm just gonna use my pen because I can't be arse to put everything together. Because I feel like everything is glitching on my stream for some reason, and I don't know why, because I haven't downloaded anything new for my computer to be like... <gasps> oh my gosh, I love that face! Him face! Isn't, Isn't he cute? cute? Him face to a heckin' owl. I haven't I added haven't any of the piercings, piercings, to piercings to this one. Mmm. This is the not talking one. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <gasps> okay, let me just update <laughs> my stream, cause fuck that, that's annoying. Me using Microsoft Edge for like, my stream music because Google Chrome kills my computer for no reason at all. Yeah. I wish I that. wish I could straight uninstall it. Google Chrome? No, Microsoft. Edge? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, but it's my does Microsoft not let Edge you. is literally just like Silent Hill music. That's it. Oh my god, I'm playing with a pair of scissors. That's dangerous. That's bad. It's a move, bastard. You're hiding it. Uh... There we go. Yo. Okay, that should be... My stream is laggy as fuck. Why? Why? What are we doing? Good, I got no ads. Nope, this is the wrong video. I've got ads. Let's check and see if there's ch I can delete from my computer because now I'm kinda freaked, to be honest. It could be a case of, like, it wants you to try and restart. What, OBS? Yeah. I mean, yeah, that could be it, too. No. I don't have the patience for that today. Me neither. Or tomorrow. I got you. Same. Oh my god! Bastard, you hit all of my props! <laughs> No! 
What? Look at my <laughs> stream, it's broken! Oh, All those you things talking? are missing now! <laughs> I'm not streaming today. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Okay, look in the, in the sorting hat file. You want me to fucking piece together my stream two minutes before I'm supposed to go live? I'm not going live today. I feel that. Oh my god, I'm gonna delete that. I don't need that. What the, why the hell is that there? What the fuck? Stream really said no today. That was really upsetting. Anyway. Yeah. I mean, maybe. It's just fucking crapped today. We just play Minecraft and we tweet what we're saying. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> just screenshot it. Yeah. Frame for frame. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It'll put us on the out. No, it's fine. We we can do this. It's totally fine. Oh shit. I'm tempted to have you hiding, but like slightly mangy. What? Like, I'm trying to set up, um... I'm trying to set up my stream right now. And I'm putting us all, like... I thought you said you weren't gonna stream tonight. Well, she said if we're gonna do it just chatting, she's gonna Ooh. stream. I would do it just chatting, but my background's fucking missing. <sighs> Bitchin'. Mm -hmm. So, this is kind of what I've got right now, and Mangi is hiding a little. I want to see. And I almost feel like that 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 is kinetically accurate. Yo, I just realized I could put my camera on because we're not we're not doing things. She I died. mean, I can see Mangi doing that in real life, to be honest. Being hidden? It's very menacing, yeah. Yeah, I I try not to be menacing to be honest, but it doesn't work. I was just gonna I guess say I'm just it doesn't like work. Yeah, naturally unmenacing, hmm. and then also naturally menacing, and I don't understand. I feel that. How can people be like, dude? Who the fuck would be afraid of you at the same time? It's because you have resting fish face. You're a. You and then you're like randomly your aggressive too. Yeah, I'm also pretty aggressive. There you go. Yeah, you're you're like that that fox that we saw earlier with the egg. <laughs> you're like, oh, cute. That fox is definitely gonna bite me if I don't give this fucking egg to it. Damn, viciousness. It was a very cute fox. But yeah, now Lita can read him by the assholes and we can react accordingly. Yeah! Facial expressions and everything, and I don't have to have Minecraft open! Yeah! Exactly! Woo. Yeah! Woo! Look at all these fucking files! Look at all these shit Yeah. Before we get started on the Am I the Assholes, look at this. I would love to see it. Look well, Look I at how many missed files I have. Oh, Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, what? that is a lot. Why does your OBS look different from my name? Well, if you do search directory, do search directory. Maybe mine what? needs to update. Maybe you can solve this problem? Yes, I can. Very quickly. Um, okay, Bastard, where did you say it was? Hold on, I am doing it. Oh. Uh... But what the fuck? Oh wait, art. Huh? Twitch there. See, these are Twitch panels. Oh wait, Twitch. Okay. Apply. Good. Wow. That didn't work. Cool. Yeah. It kind of just kind of seems like I'm gonna have to restart it anyway. Oh well, at least I got my box back, or at least in front okay. of the box. Hold on, let's see. Meiji, Meiji, Meiji. Yeah, the back of the box is there. Yeah, so that's all of your, like, assets. So, it looks like it's just the background that's still fucked. So, double-click that. 
properties. Paper Alps, yeah. Would he put it under art? Uh, I don't think so. Could it have been accidentally oh. deleted? There it is. Hey! Cleta fixed I'm... everything! <laughs> she's she's an intelligent babe. Wow. Uh, yeah. And that should have fixed it on all of them, so. <clears throat> now, if you've hidden them, well, that one, you have to go through and unhide it on all of them, but. <laughs> Alright. Now that I'm self conscious about my OBS, it's only my OBS. You're adorable. <laughs> Yeah. Why, why, why does this one just not have the background? No, though, like, your OBS looks different from mine. Maybe mine um, needs to I can update. actually fix that for you as well. Oh, well, I, I, I got it. I just uh -huh. need to grab the thing. Well, you don't have to. If you just put um, add image and then do existing, back will be under it. Or That's it's a video. Doing. It's a video, so. Oh, so, it's yeah. a video. Yeah, that makes sense. That's why I couldn't find it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Rest in peace, Bong Mangy. Wait, why rest in pieces? <laughs> He's gone. Why is him gone? Put him back. <laughs> I lost him in my directory like a 500 years ago, and I've never been able to find him since. I'll send him back. Ooh. I mean, okay. I could send yeah. it. I have it too. Like. It's, it's, uh... <laughs> Everybody but you Finn have... has it. Oh my god, everyone but me! Yeah. Oh my god, look, we're already on just chatting. Look at that. I have it because oh. of Lita. Haha, <laughs> just chatting. Uh oh. But yeah, if you want the files, I'll send them back to you. Uh. Hold on. Ooh, Don't Starve has an update. Ooh. halloween -y. Yay! My stuff's all back together. Yay! Yahoo! You did it! Yay! Lita's a lifesaver. Sure is. Just wait, I'll talk kind. you through how to connect our libraries on Steam. Ha 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 ha! One day. <laughs> Actually, um, probably around February because I intend on getting the uh, we oui. first of all the Harry Potter game. Oh yeah, we oui. um, we're gonna get the Harry Potter game. You're gonna get the deluxe version, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, don't get the collector's edition. All that comes with it is a fancy fucking like. First of all, the collector's edition is fucking four hundred dollars. Also, what comes with it is a wand being held up by a magnet. You have to plug into the wall. Yeah. Oh my god, there's costumes and don't starve now. Sorry, I'm not here. I was like, I'm gonna open Don't Start because there needs to be an update and they oh they give you so much stuff. I like stuff. Okay. <laughs> I wanna get back into this game. Don't starve? Yeah. I really wish I liked it for your sake. <laughs> I don't. You, it makes me much and sick and sad and scared and you, angry. You wish you liked a lot of things for my sake, and I find that adorable, and I you very too. much appreciate you. As I a should friend. be. Aw. I appreciate you as a friend. Oh my fucking god. You're wearing the shirt again. I don't know where my shirt is. Oh, I was yeah. going to be twins again. Uh, I had to take a shower, so I put this shirt on. You want to play Don't Starve together? No, not particularly. I have, like, um, I have a sense of direction. Like, that's the most important thing to me when traveling is to orient myself, and I always, like, can figure out which way is north. But in Don't Starve, because of the camera system, it's just no. 
Yeah. And I'm like, I, what is happening? I'm I spinning. literally refuse to move the camera for that reason. I yeah. hate, yeah, no, I would never move the fucking camera. See, no, I'm Like, don't the, starve except at starving with friends. I'm the opposite way. I... I have to move the camera. I have, See, like, like, this impulse to move the camera. Like... <laughs> You're like, hee hee, camera go skirt, skirt. Literally. <laughs> oh my god, bastard and Finn, I need to tell you something. Okay. Alright. I have to do okay. the dims. I am now open. What mic? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yo, well, my, my mic's been open for. I know, uh, but oh, like. Shit. Yo, I hey, who told me that I had all my friends muted? Thank you. Just kidding. None of you did. I see you not doing the job. Thank you, Shrimpy. Thank you, Shrimpy. I'll give you credit for that. <laughs> Lag is a thing. But thank you, Shrimpy. I appreciate you. I had already unmuted them, but... No, don't, don't drink, drink coffee. coffee. Coffee is delicious. I'm gonna add a rule because of you. No bore in my chat. So... So... Uh, uh, right, at, right about three, I'm gonna have to go take my dad to... Uh, to a thing he's volunteering for, and then I'll be gone for about half an hour. So. So you're, um, you're telling us in, like, roughly 30 minutes? Yeah. Got yeah. it. Well, roughly, like, maybe 2.50, I'll, I'll probably be leaving and take him. The thing is, like, you know, the, like, I'll probably back, I'll probably Hi, be coffee. back Hi, Coffee! Thank you for the lurk! Four. Thank you for the lurk, Coffee, I love you. Oh, okay, that but, makes sense. So. Well, I will have to leave, but I'll leave this all open, I'll probably stay in in the server and just let it run. Well, uh, but if it has any problem, you know. <laughs> yeah, fair. I, I too will move to it. No. Um. In my friend's dreams because I'm not good to be. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. I wish I could finish this art on stream because I'm so it's so satisfying drawing with this tablet. This is the tablet that I was gonna, like, first, yeah. this is an iPad, so it's like $1,000, but this other tablet, the one that I use otherwise when I use my computer, is... Oh, Christ. Fucking Jesus Christ. Um, I'm gonna commit suicide. If I remember correctly, Jelly streams their Fucking iPad, there. so they might be able Jelly to... Keep yeah, Jelly does stream their iPad. They have a program that costs ten dollars. Um, I don't have ten dollars. I don't have the emotional capacity to withstand buying the wrong program again. So until I am thoroughly educated on which program I need, I got a program after Jelly Jelly told me to get a program, and I got the wrong program, and I paid money for the wrong program, and. It is the wrong program, but it's but the program I use for um, for playing Garctic Phone. It essentially allows me to open up my iPad as a third monitor, which is cool because it allows it to be a tablet monitor, but you have to pay like $100 a year to have the pen pressure be a thing. So it's basically useless when it comes to doing any art other than in Garctic Phone where there is no pen pressure. But yeah. this is the um, this is a Wacom tablet. This is one I use. It's not very big. I think my grandpa got it online for like twenty bucks, and it's like the one that Amazon suggests. I like it. It just connects right to the computer. But I'm I'm a I'm in real time a drawer. So it took me like two years to learn how to use it because. The concept of drawing without drawing on a screen is fucking trippy to me. But now that I actually learned how to use it, of course, after I got my fucking iPad, uh, I I enjoy drawing with it. That's what I use when I use the art program instead of Garctic Phone. Mm -hmm. When I use um, paint. Paint was given to me by Jelly, actually. Lifesaver. For real. Paint is a good program. If you could... I don't know if... Lita could share a copy like Jelly did with me, but 
you know. Of what? Paint. Do you have paint? No, I use I use Rebella Five and Krita and occasionally Photoshop. I'm I'm talking about Clip Studio Paint. My bad. Not yeah, not no. paint paint. Not bucket paint. Not yeah. MS Paint. No. No, I figured you were talking about Clip Studio Paint. I want Clip Studio Paint. Uh, Jelly had it and they let me use it. I don't know how that works though. I think I'm the only other person that can use it. That's what they said to me. But like, if 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 it's a program that you want to try, and you can get Jelly to give it to you, I, I'd be happy to delete it from my computer so you could have it. No, you adorable thing. It's fine. I was so no, I have kidding. so many other pro art programs, and I've got like a drawing tablet with fucking Procreate on on it. I basically never use it. It would be a waste. Okay. Um, I'd much well, rather uh, let you have it. We'll 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 talk to them about it at some point. I like dragons, Trumpy. I can't speak to everyone else. Um, dragons but I wanted so to cool. show you guys a thing. So I'm not gonna show the people on my stream. I'm just gonna show you guys. Also, hi pie. That that hi, one pie. really got you. I'm sorry about that. That one. Check out the arts. <laughs> <laughs> I am temporarily banning you, Shrimpy. Ooh. Come here, Shrimpy, you little Ooh. shit. No, you. Shrimpy, You're why? You're going on timeout at the very... <laughs> you timed out for 600 seconds, you little shit. <laughs> uh, Gamp, of course. I used to use Gimp. I'm not a big fan of Gimp anymore. I used to use Gimp, and I agree with Lito. Do you guys do you, do you guys see the thing? I do, yeah, I love it. Fudge. Those are the yeah. drafts. Yeah. Ooh. Those are the drafts that Maxi sent me. Um I have asked that the orange of the pumpkins under the tablet be made a little bit redder. But what do we think? What do you guys think? I, I love them. Like it's it's That's very, great coherent. It's very fitting, yeah. It matches everything else that they've done for me, too, which I love. Because they, they also did, like, pull up. Hi, Rain. Trimpy, you're Hi, not Rain, permanently darling. banned. How I love you? you. You're welcome back, and you got me, but also you're on timeout, you little shit. To put Mangus's art on my stream. Oop. I was thinking Ooh. about making you emotes of your Sona, but now that mm -hmm. I've said it out loud, you're gonna have to wait at least a year, okay, yeah, without uh, telling me anything for, at all. First of all, first of all, I would never expect anything. Thank the you fact, for the hundred biddies. The Al. fact you're offering is it warms my heart enough. And hello, Ray. You think I'm offering? That's cute. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm like, Honestly, I might. Like... I don't know. Depends on how hard it is after the first or second. Uh, okay, let me change <laughs> what I said then. The proposal of doing so warms my heart. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking bitch. I love you. I, I mean, I basically was just like, can I have you? <laughs> I like when I do emotes mm. like oh my god I had to do I did Iris's emotes and I enjoyed doing Iris's emotes but the problem is my style doesn't translate to emotes very well at all because the emotes are so small that yeah. you can't see all the details I put in my style so a lot of my characters end up looking muddy when made smaller that's part of the reason I'm working on like this style so I could figure out how to do something like this, because the eyes are very large, and like you could see the features a lot easier. It's a lot less detailed, but yeah, I really like the the emotes that you you were showing off previously. Like those are so cute. Yeah, <laughs> some of them are already on my channel. <gasps> I want to be sub now. Oh, damn. I am subbed. I feel like an absolute boss the the oh, laughing you. emoji is my favorite i can almost hear the wheezy snicker it's very funny
Oh my god. I love him. Um, I'm gonna upload, like, the ghost emote and everything, but I need to take note of the emotes that I already have so that I can recreate them, so it's not just adding completely separate emotes in a different style. Yeah. want your emo i i like i the the main problem with like i i love doing art for my friends but if i'm not happy with the art you don't get to see it and also i will not talk to thank you for hydrating gesture i will not talk to you mm -hmm. And it's like I don't want to do that to you guys, so commissions are off the table, and I will hint at, at doing art, and then perhaps I won't, and we will still love each other. <laughs> yeah. Fair. I mean, yeah, no, I would never, like, ask for any of my art friends to do that for me, even if I was going to pay them, because I feel like that's putting a lot of pressure on, you know, like a friendship. So, oh, I... I I am such a fucking we I'm a weenie when it comes to disappointing people. Exactly. So yeah. what so my my whole thing is is like I will not be disappointed if you never draw me again. Cheers, pie. But the idea of you drawing me brings me such unbridled joy. Yeah, that's how I that just if felt. I can find an excuse for you to draw me, I fucking will. Like, That's why you guys like Garctic phone so much. <laughs> Literally, yeah. Because <laughs> then you Lamau. want to draw us. Ew, ew. I want to get a tablet. It's on my birthday Christmas list. I say birthday Christmas list. It's technically Christmas birthday list. But I want to be. Yeah. I want to be part of the cool kids. I, I. Okay, so personally, um. So, the levels of the tablets that I have, I feel like I kind of got them out of order from what I would suggest to a new artist. Because I would suggest, like, the tablet. Because it can do other things as well. You don't need to do art on it. But, like, the visual, the pencil to paper. Yeah. I even have the uh, the paper, like, finish. So, like, it's it's like drawing in real oh my fucking what's the point of having my fucking camera on if you can't fucking see me I'm a silhouette my bad no no nah! it's cool hold on I got you <clears throat> is a Phineas face this is the first time I'm using my inhaler today good what the fuck let me see that fucking inhaler Oh yeah. Wait, oh, I okay. Wait. I I was I thought you had one of those COPD ones. Do you filter yes, for me? Oh my God, what do we you have mean? the exact Literally. same one. Twins. <clears throat> I bet it's even the same uh, prescription. It's literally just straight albuterol. Because I I asked my doctor for albuterol, like the liquid form, for the big fucking <laughs> machine. And she's like, no, nah, I'll give you the inhaler. It's like, okay, whatever. Okay. Do you doctor. filter when I'm here? Sometimes. It's kind of a knee-jerk reaction, mostly, I think. And up hostility? Thank That's my mama. Thank you for Hello, the laundry. Hello, ma Mangy Mama. But I think that's just like, yeah, I filter a little bit. I feel like anybody would. Not, <laughs> I don't. Except filter. for Lita, Lita straight streams with their mom. Here's the thing: if I tried to filter with my mom, she'd call me out on my bullshit. Yeah, you she'd live be with like... your mom though. I honestly, uh, since moving back in, I've gotten in the habit of embarrassing her on purpose. It's kinda no. Mean. I'll just say something like. Oh, I remember at one point I I was I lost something, and I got annoyed because I have bad knees, and so I stood up and I was like, "I'm never going down on my knees again unless it's for Al." And she just went, "Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> That's so intense! I'm scared." She just like 
And I was like, that's payback for all the fucking jokes you made when I was a kid. <coughs> and I need to calm down. She's trying to write. Oh. Huh. Huh. Well, my phone decided no more. What do you mean? Uh, it said no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You can pull up something on your one of your monitors to brighten up your face a little bit. Yeah, I know. Hold on one second. I was mm. sorry. I was looking at the news, which is like not good. Trans. Mm. Google Translate is my flashlight. Mm. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Lip? Well, I know Lita. Well, you know, I told you guys. Never mind. I was gonna ask. Try sunshine. No, sunshine is awful. I was... Also, I have both the windows in my. Shut up. Okay, look. First of all, it's raining as fuck outside, or at least windy. Jeez. Wow. Hold on one second. I am have ADHD. Must go look at pretty wind. <laughs> Be right back. It's been raining here for five days. Um, it's just kind of windy. And it's not going to stop. Like, I looked at the forecast, and it's going to keep going. I don't love the rain. Isn't it That's why I'm I love it, too. I just don't love when it fucks with my chemistry. Like, why you got to make me sad? I love the rain so much it makes me the opposite of that. I, I love the rain when Lita's here. That's it, because Lita gets so excited. And happy. And that just makes me happy. But Lita's I not- I love it when it's fall! Lita's not here, so... No well, get over here! No reason, or, no reason be happy with rain. Nope. Give me give me a ticket, and I'll I'll come over there, and I'll dance in the rain and giggle, and you'll laugh. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was gonna say, I can't come visit you. I've tried that already. Oh, speaking of, um, the second Mangy gets back, I need to talk about the windows. Oh yeah, yeah, we kind of started that conversation, then my Minecraft was being a bitch, and then we kind of got off topic from there. <clears throat> Apologies. It's fine, you're adorable. Well, no, um, I, I, I know how frustrating it can get when, like, mm -hmm. you wanted to talk about something, and then we just get off on a tangent, and then we forget. And with all of that, I opened both of my windows. Turn the translate off. My windows are open. And you're still a silhouette. <laughs> yeah, so it's because of how far away my windows are. Like that, the close, the one that doesn't have any, um, doesn't have any obstructions of like walls is like 10 feet away. And then the one that's, closest to me is shaded by a tree and is obstructed by my closet so by your closet um, a whole lot of sunshine yeah yeah hold on do you see how this is my closet yeah so the wall comes out a bit so this, like, there's a window oh. right up against this part. Yeah. So. I feel you. Gotta turn my flashlight back on. Boink. Thank you, Google Translate. Anyway, yeah, no, I would try sunshine more often, but tell me when the sun turns into a white block on my screen. Anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to drawing, and you don't get to see it, and then Lita's gonna read Am I the Assholes? Yep. Uh, but before I do, I get to, to give you guys an update on the house renovations. Yay! So, we had this sweet little girl come out to the house today to take a look at the windows, and we decided to do all the windows on the front of the house. That means the, th the two that face the road from the living room. The one that has the hole underneath it, which they're going to get us in touch with a contractor 
to fix the hole in the wall and possibly the floorboards. We're not sure. Um, and then they're going to replace that window and then the other two windows that are in the master bedroom, which is Al and I's bedroom and the study slash living room. Um, just so that all the windows on the match. Um, and then they said that if we decide to replace the rest of the windows in the house, which I think there's only four more, they will give us the same discount that they gave us on these windows. We Ooh. get a 10 year warranty on everything. Uh, I think there's a 20 year warranty on a couple things, but I don't remember which. Which, um, and I decided to go, mom and I kind of decided together, but mostly it was kind of my decision at the end there. Um, we decided to go with black windows that are solid glass instead of paned. Fuck panes. I'll understand. Al knows how I feel about paned windows. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. I could rant I, about it for forever. If it were actual panes, I'd be fine. But it's always fake panes. I'm gonna, I love you too, Mama. I'm gonna be back in one second. I'm literally Aww. going. Okay, I'll wait. I love you. Because I have the wrong glasses. I love you too. Bye, Mangy Mama! Bye, Mama! I wish to know about your dislike for paint windows. Oh, okay, so you know how windows have like you can see on this window in my camera how it has like the the painting. Yeah, you know how that's usually just like in the windows, or it's painted on the windows, or it's in between the glass. Yeah. Do you know why they look like that? Um, Is it because they used to have to do them in smaller squares and have yep. them together? Yep, and I yep. don't mind that because in that it was like sensible. A technology the reason they, thing. Yeah. The reason they did that was because it was far cheaper to replace like the small square of glass than the big sheets. Whereas nowadays it's cheaper to replace the big sheets and also better for insulation. Well, people still apparently wanted this disgusting look. And so classic. they decided to fake it, and they faked it really badly. Ah, okay. So I can't stand... I don't mind actual pain glass, but it's not really good for anything. So I just don't want pains. So we're getting... We're getting two... We're, we're getting the windows that are, like, cut in the middle. And the part that will actually be opening the most has a screen. The top half does not, so that it's clear we can actually look out into the yard. They're going to be massive, and both can be pulled inward so that they can be cleaned on both sides. Nice. Yep. And all of the hardware is metal, which I really appreciate, because it means it won't break as easily. Babe, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Why? You just were quiet, and it's like, well, these are our windows in our house. Well, because I left for a second, and then I came back mid-conversation, and I didn't know what to say. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah. the the bottom half of the, the window is going to be, it's going to have like the, a net to catch any bugs from coming into the house when we open the windows, because it's either hot or whatever. Um, and they're also going to be really well insulated, so it, it'll it keep the house from getting really warm. Ooh. Yay. I'm very happy about this. I am happy mm. about this because that means there won't be any issues with traps or getting sick or anything, you know? Old yeah. these yeah. off the table. Yep. For real. Yeah. Hey, up. Um, so they're gonna come out Monday to do some measurements. We've already done the first payment, and then once they finish, which will be in February, we'll do the second payment. Um, and probably between then, we're going to replace the ceiling in the kitchen and possibly the living room, so that 
<clears throat> we can go ahead and get started on the rest of the renovations because we're really waiting on those two things is the windows and the ceiling. Yeah. Darling, would you live in a cob house with me? A what? Cob house. What the fuck's a cob house? Sure, my love. What it's is a cob house? So they're, they're cheaper made houses because they're actually made out of like Out of what? They're made out of like dirt and stuff. But because of that, they're cheaper to be made. They're biodegradable. They are more sturdy and they have cheaper living costs because in order to be sturdy, they're so the walls are so thick you don't actually need things like insulation. And you get a lot of really cool curves instead of like square like um there tends to be more rounded archways instead of like square flat walls. Hmm. Interesting. I'll show you pictures. Sad. Oh yeah, window lady. Window lady was really sweet. Um, <clears throat> she seemed to kind of know what we needed from the get go. And again, she did say, like, we'll do these now and you can have this promo and then we'll just put the same promo when you do the rest of the windows because um, I'll be paying for those. So did you say hello <clears throat> to pizza? Pizza! I did not see you there. I am so sorry. That's why I wanted to bring it up just in case, because I just noticed. Oh. How are you, darling pizza? <clears throat> um, let me just go ahead and pop out this chat, actually, so that I can see it. Um... But yeah, I'm really, really, really excited. I feel I'm excited for you. I'm going to be honest, though. I mm. do not see the appeal of windows, but I'm also not uh, fixing my own house. So there's that. Well, we're not adding new windows. We're just replacing the old ones. Yeah. Replacing the drafty oh. ones that have no purpose now. Mm hmm. Because they're drafty. And it's actually probably cheaper to replace those windows than to remove them entirely. And I don't really want to have a windowless house. Because it doesn't look good and it's not great. Fair enough. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, there was that. Um, mm -hmm. oh, what am I doing? I don't know. Okay, now I can do it. Cool. Oh, words, English. Um, so, am I the asshole? You guys want to go ahead and get started on that? Because I feel like that's probably a little bit more interesting than hearing about my my housing woes. I, no, I... it's not that your housing woes aren't interesting. I just, I'm not very good with Windows. So you're like, double pained, and I'm like, what? And then you're like, quadruple pained? Exclaimed sublime sublime <laughs> fame. Aim We're replacing the windows and, and they're really nice. 
<laughs> what? Nobody could see Finn doing this little dance as he said all that, but that was so fucking cute. It was very cute. cute and funny. Oh my god, I love that. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. I needed that. I, I'm glad I could make you smile. I needed that. Good. Okay. All right, before uh, before you get started, Lita, you got to go. Have fun, you guys. I'll miss I you. Sent pictures. Uh, I'll miss you too. I sent pictures in the description of what houses are in the, the channel. Doodle I love you. Bring back home something yummy. Oh my god, they're adorable. I, I lead them. I will be, but I love you. Aren't they? I love them. I love that. They are gorgeous and eco-friendly. I think Bastard has a preference on, on, on the ecosystem. Imagine not having breath. Okay. <laughs> Doodle. Bye. I love bear Might person. Be on starting an an ecological conversation right before leaving me. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I'm gonna scooch you all over now, cause Lita's too close to me. What? Lita's too close to me. I can't. Um. Mm. Sad. Well, 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 your new bat is like covering my pinch a little. So oh. I just need to scooch you over a little bit, tease you a little bit. Is move me to the other side. It will. I can move me oh. now because bastards abandoned mm -hmm. me for real, for real. <laughs> oh my god! And then I can move now, now make him a little <laughs> bigger. There's Lita moving Lita. There we go. Make Lita bigger. Come here, Lita. You little shit. Come here. Yo, fucking, come here, come. I'm, actually gonna I'm going make to kill you, too. Lita. I'm going to make Mangus a little bigger, too. Woo! Larger in charge. I make Lita big, but then I hide Lita. <laughs> Damn. She peeking. I am looking at my collection of Am I the Asshole stuff. Take your time. Hmm. Find us a good one. Mm -hmm. Man, you're lucky. All the I'm Am I the Assholes that I run into are like, Am I the asshole for cutting off my mom after she set my entire life on fire, <laughs> stole my identity, killed five children in my name, got me arrested, oh, got I me get plenty literally of those. stay euthanized? I get or should I have let I just... her back into my line? And it's like, <laughs> I get plenty of those. I just don't tend to read them because it's kind of like, duh, yeah. no. Or, or they're like, am I the asshole for like killing my, uh, killing my sister-in-law? My sister-in-law had intense cancer and she was in pain every day. And it's like, what, uh, what, uh, what, uh, how can you set it up and then go a completely different direction? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I actually you are like the, the ones for making this post. I actually kind of like the ones where, like, you you hear the title and you're like, uh, yes, and then you hear the context and you're like, oh, now. See, I tend to stick to my guns on petty decisions, so I'd be like, yes, you are the asshole, and then it's like she was in a lot of pain, and I'm just like, uh, it doesn't matter. You, well, okay, then I'm gonna set a rule. You uh -oh. can't answer the am I the asshole title. That's, yeah. You have to wait until I'm done with the post. Yep. Yeah, because Lita's run a couple to me where I'm just like, I give my answer with the title, and then uh, at the end I change my mind. Yeah, because so. I I do a lot of those. So I'm uh, to be fair, you can you, it, it'll still be fine if you like answer. Do them? you make your decision and stick with your guns? I was just cheesing. I'm sorry. I'm drawing, honey. <laughs> okay. 
<clears throat> Lita does pick some good ones though. Like a lot of them enrage me. It's great. Well, this one, this one, I more was just like, ooh. Um. So, what was the title for this one? Am I the asshole for not correcting my son when he told his stepfather slash my husband off? <clears throat> Wait, for not or for? For not. Okay. <clears throat> so the story goes like this. Um, OP is kind of a sentimental person. She likes to have... When she gets gifts, she doesn't usually want something that's like a necessity or something she can use. She wants things that are sweet, well thought out, right? Yeah. Her husband, however, is kind of the exact opposite. He's very frugal with money. He's got more than enough money already that if he retired then and there, he'd be perfectly fine. He's still of working age. He's not going to retire, but like he's extremely good and frugal with money. Now, what that is manifested as is he asks her what she wants for birthdays, anniversaries, Christmas. And her answer is always something sentimental. And his reaction to that is, but that's a waste of money. Why would we get that? So he inadvertently winds up not getting her anything. Now, here's where the title comes into play. She has an 18-year-old son. He is currently working. He works his ass off. And um, <clears throat> one day he comes home from work. Uh, also, she did preface that he and his stepfather have a good relationship. This story is not indicative of their relationship overall. But um, <clears throat> he comes home from work with a couple work buddies. He's like... I can't wait to give you your birthday present, so I'm going to give it to you now. And he gives it to her, and I don't specifically remember it, but I think it was a frame that was covered in seashells, and um, she loved it. Absolutely adored it. And the first thing that her husband said was, how much money did you spend on that? First of all, rude. Secondly, none of his business. Mm -hmm. And the son said, it wouldn't matter. It would not matter how much money I'd spent. I have a good job. All my bills are paid. I'm working. I'm saving. My mom deserves something nice for her birthday, which you have never done. And by the way, it didn't cost anything. We made it ourselves. Damn. And later on, uh, her husband was like, why'd you let him speak to me like that? Why didn't you say anything? And she just looked at him and went, because he was right. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, it's, it's pretty sad when your, your son gives your wife a better gift than you probably have ever had, to be honest. Because the son actually seems to take into account what she likes and what she wants. And meanwhile, like, I had, being who I am and my circumstances, I worry about money consistently. But I wouldn't, like, cheap out on a gift for somebody just because it doesn't mean anything to me well it wasn't a case of like it didn't mean any uh, the gifts did, and things that she wanted didn't mean anything to him it was a case of he's not sentimental he doesn't understand sentiment and so he just sees them as things he, do he doesn't understand yeah he sees it, he sees it as like a material value rather than like an emotional one. Yeah. Which, that's really sad. Mm -hmm. If you go through life thinking like that. Yeah. Yep. 
from the way that she she praised it, that's like the only issue. But <clears throat> I know that I would be kind of miserable in a relationship like that. So <laughs> just because like I love materialism. I want to collect shoes. Yeah. I want to have all the technology. So, like, to me, he sounds like a horror, but, like, it didn't seem to be a problem for her. And I was just like, I okay, sis, <clears throat> go off, whatever you want. I mean, I wouldn't be able to have a relationship with somebody if they don't understand my love language. Which, I love that you know that my love language is things. Well, like, I, I feel like that's what it is for her as well, because she wants something sentimental she wants something that she can have a connection with not just well, a material thing she specifically meant gifts for birth she specified it was gifts for birthday and christmas and anniversaries not like overall so i it didn't sound to me like her love language was things but like her preferred gift preference was sentimental yeah um and that meant more to her than like yeah, like no. she would rather get a little knickknack trinket than socks. Yeah, that's what I meant. Like she wants something that she can remember the occasion by, and she can remember who gave it to her, and you know stuff like that. Which, like I said, I wouldn't be able to be in a relationship with somebody if they didn't understand my love language. That just seems like hell. Oh yeah, yeah. Like. <laughs> Literal hell. <laughs> In any case, um, so that was the first one. Uh, what is the verdict? Uh, definitely. Is she the asshole? No, I no. Be, well, first of all, I'm I'm glad that she stood by her son and didn't. Uh, reprimand but she didn't him. say anything. Yeah, like I'm glad that she she didn't go to her son and be like, "Oh, you sh you shouldn't have." treated your father that way that's just like no because he understands what she wants and what she needs when it comes to gift giving and stuff and his own father is just fucking oblivious that father but yeah yeah so i'm i don't think she's the asshole and i actually commend her for you know staying on her son's side because there's hmm. people out there that would reprimand the son just because you know the whole respect your elder shit what do you yeah. think is she the uh, I don't yeah I don't really see how you can like logically hear that story and think that she's the asshole yeah I know that there's a lot of people who don't agree with like the materialism thing like parts of my family don't like I've had situations where I've been the only person hurt uh, out of a situation of getting rid of stuff. But also, I can understand how that sort of mentality can be upsetting to people because it can lead to, like, a hoarding mentality. But I don't think that that was the case in this sense. And I think that it's just a case of a husband genuinely not believing or listening to their partner at all, which is sadly not abnormal. Yeah. I think it was more of a case of you don't need that, so you shouldn't have that, was how the story was kind of phrased for how he, he looks at it. It's like, there's no point to having that, so we shouldn't have that. Which is logical, but it it is too logical, you know? Also, hi, Froggy! Um, I am reading Am I the Assholes on, on uh, stream. So that one was a case of she was asking if she was an asshole for not telling off her son for being disrespectful to his stepfather when he said, you don't give my mom gifts that she likes. I actually did. So, um, I kind of agree with you guys. Actually, I 100% agree with you guys. I don't think she was the asshole, if anything. I think it's a, 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 a something that he needed to hear because clearly he just was not listening. <laughs> Okay. You guys ready for the next story? Uh, before we start, I would like to say that uh, the Twitch view count on OBS is broken. 
Just just wanted to, to point that out. Okay. Yeah, it says I got three viewers. Hi, three of you guys. How are you guys doing? Roll call. Who's yeah, here? It's, it's, it's very delayed. And I just wanted you guys to know that. Okay. Because, like, Lita's, yours on Twitch, it says you have four people, but your view count on your actual OBS is two. Says two. two. Yeah. To, like, yeah. Yeah, it's been broken for ages. I just kind of, I don't know why I leave it up. Yeah. Maybe maybe because it, it, on the off shot that it shoots up, it's just like a, a little bit of joy. Yeah, a little bit of serotonin. Yeah. Honestly, um, seeing a three instead of a zero makes me so happy. Same, exactly. <laughs> And I'm not even doing oh. anything. I'm like the quietest one out of every one of you because I'm just like listening to the story. Well, no, it's, yeah, it's, but it's, it's interesting. It's and you yeah. do put your input. Like, it's not like you're doing absolutely nothing. Yeah. And I'm drawing. Give yourself mm -hmm. more credit. No. Give yourself credit. We love you. No. <laughs> okay, so are you guys ready for the next one? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so this is going to be one where you want to withhold judgment. Okay. Until the end. Alright, I'm judging it. Kinda, yeah, I was gonna say, kinda wish you didn't tell me I wanted to judge immediately. Yeah, no. Because mm -mm. now, now I'm gonna fill in the opposite of what I think. Yeah. No, and I feel like that's more fun, in yeah. my opinion. Okay, so. Here, here, the title was, Am I the Asshole for Telling My Sister That uh, She's the Reason Nobody Likes Her Husband? <laughs> no. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, her husband is a cow, and everyone's allergic to cows. Honestly, I <laughs> am. I am withholding so, judgment because I. This is a really interesting topic title. Okay, so here's the story. Um, so the OP just automatically prefaced English is not my first language, and that's going to be important. We live in a very specific culture where we have sort of things that are expected. We're a very close-knit community, and it's expected that even if you marry outside of the community, your husband is supposed to provide a dowry yes. for marrying you. It's supposed to be a huge celebration, and you are, you are expected to conform to the customs of the culture. All right, pizza. We love you. Have a good night. And um, it sounded like Croatian or something. They mention he mentions at one point he that they're like voodoo or something. So, um, in any case, Opie's sister married outside the community. She wary she married a Caucasian man, and. He refused outright to provide a dowry at all. I don't know what a dowry is. So a dowry is like you payment for marrying somebody. Yeah. Oh. Whether it's or... like whether it's money, materialistic things, uh some people do mm. animals. Yeah, it's yeah. actually mentioned later in the story that um I think it was for OP. Um her husband, one part of his dowry to marrying her, was a cow that they slaughtered and cooked as um, part of the ceremony for congratulating her on her marriage. And, like, it's not how I would do it, but that's not my culture, you know? Yeah. Um, but in any case... Uh, uh, if you're showing up to my wedding without a fucking cow to slaughter, what's up? We're gonna fight. I'm gonna fist fight you. What well, the fuck? it's not only that. Why would they you come to a wedding without a fucking? <laughs> I don't understand. Um. Well, no, he provided the dowry before marrying her, but the whole the whole thing was that they were expected to provide the dowry before marrying. And in some cultures, that's different. Like in some cases, the girl provides the dowry. It, it is what it is, but in this instance, the men basically... And, and it's also a thing in the Middle East where they will give goats in order to marry a girl, and they will give the amount of goats that they think she is worth. Three. I am a oh, bride that, worth many a, goats. Is that 
Is that like the number system? So if somebody is like a 10, they're worth like 10 goats? <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, I wonder. But it, it does also depend. Uh, part of it is also showing the wealth of that man's family in order to basically say like, I can take care of her. Which I think was is the bigger part of this. Now, that is my understanding of dowries. I don't know if that's what their whole thing is in that culture because she doesn't specify. She just mentions kind of that part of the, the whole thing that he refused to do and he called barbaric, actually. <clears throat> and backwards was the idea of providing a dowry and said something about how, like, that was basically buying her. Which, it's not considered the same thing. Um, I can see why he would assume that if he's sure, not He also says gone. that he he deserved that time out. And what were you saying? <laughs> yeah, you fucking did. Yeah, you deserved that fucking time out. <laughs> what were you saying, sweetie? Uh, if he's not, if, like, if he's not bothering to learn about her culture. But if it's also, it, it depends. Is she a willing participant? And is she looking to him to provide that? And if she asked that, him and he said no, he's not, like, he's that, not responsible for doing that. I'm getting there. So he called the, the dowry barbaric. He refused to participate in it, even when asked. And then on top of that, they didn't get married by her customs. He had them married in a church. Ooh. And then he refers to her parents by their first names, which is extremely taboo in their in their culture. So essentially, he's being very rude. Um, he do, they actually only invited him to one family event and then just stopped inviting them all together because he completely either ignored, was unaware of, or just didn't care about their customs. And has made a few comments that essentially they see it as he views her as lesser because of the culture she comes from. And the fact that it is so, like, weird and voodoo, whatever. So she comes to OP crying, saying, like, everyone hates her, that nobody is inviting her to anything, that they all hate her husband, and that they're picking favorites. Now, Opie has just had a baby. She's exhausted. She's pissed off. And she just looks at the girl and goes, you're the reason nobody likes your husband. Because well, you have not bothered to have him even respect our customs at all. Nah, nah. Uh, yeah, you're the asshole. Um, I don't give a fuck about your shitty baby. Like, if you're going to be an asshole, you deserve to be called an asshole, especially if you're going to ask hundreds of people on the internet if you're an asshole. Yeah. So, um, you're an asshole. Yeah, she just kind of... Um, now there was an update on that story, actually. Um, um, but I'll get to that, to that in a minute. I'm going to say, I, I think she was the asshole, but I also think she's justified because... Part of her commentation on that was you chose to marry a man who views you as lesser and refuses to listen to your culture and your customs that you still care about. Because did she, did you she say that she wanted to have yes, that she wanted that, to have him pay that? Okay, she didn't care about the dowry as far as I can tell. That was not the thing. The thing was, was they were excluding her and her family from their gatherings which is again another part of their culture and they were saying you can't have your cake and eat it too see i know you cannot i feel i feel very weird about commenting on this because i realize now that this is probably extremely not my culture and i shouldn't yeah, be it's... making judgmental calls on it however i do feel like when it comes down to it it's ultimately if your part like if your partner's not respecting your culture and it's something that is that is that meaningful to you then you should leave that person because they're obviously not the match for your culture like even to a degree like i do believe that you can help people understand a little bit more and get moving in the culture mm -hmm. but in the like 
in this situation, he seems pretty set in stone. Like, why would you want that person in the first place? Like, I'm sure that they've had private talks about this, and he has denied and said no. So why would you continue having that? But also, the family excluding them, I've seen that happen in, like, religious situations. Like, um, uh, I, like, uh... Uh, nope, I'm not going to continue with that. But, like, I just don't believe in societal, like, shaming in that degree where you don't include other family members. Because I've had a lot of well, shitty family members who would get, like... That was the thing. They did try. They actually did invite But it's not him. her fault. No matter how you cut it, it's not her fucking sister's fault. And just because you have a little baby doesn't mean you should be shitty like that. Yeah. Um... So... I, I agree with it was kind of her fault for telling her sister that it's her fault that no one likes her husband. I do think he's the asshole, though, because of the same thing. Now, they did mention that they're not, like, publicly shaming him or anything like that. It was a case of, like, they tried to let him in, and he just, at every given opportunity, disrespected them and everything about their culture, and was essentially trying to force them into a westernized culture. Well... Which they didn't appreciate, and that's why they stopped inviting him and her. But they still do things with the other sisters' husbands. Because apparently there were, like, three girls uh, aside from OP... or aside from OP's sister. But um, the, the thing was was... Uh, the sister came by to essentially throw a tantrum and bitch and complain that they don't invite her husband to anything. And they're like, we still talk to him? He's still invited around despite the fact that he's rude every single time he comes around. And she basically was upset with them for not including them in the cultural gatherings that she still wanted to attend. And I think that OP was probably meaning to try and tell her that the reason that you're not invited is because of your husband being so rude. I don't like the way she phrased it. And I do agree that having a baby is not an excuse for acting like an asshole. No, yeah, definitely not. So well, I, will say, I just don't at all see, I don't see how the blame can be turned around on this person because it really sounds like they're in love with someone who does not respect them. And I feel like you should strive to help people out of those situations instead of making them the reason those situations yeah, are at. Exactly. Yeah. Now, I making... will go ahead and say that update to the story does affect that. Essentially, um, Afterwards, um, OP sister did kind of come back around and she kind of broke down and she explained that things are not going well because he's kind of forcing her to appeal to westernized culture. Well, she implied that he was kind of forcing her within their own home to be more westernized. And she even asked him if they could repeat the ceremony properly. Like, according to her culture's customs, and he called it voodoo bullshit. And so she moved out, she left, she went to stay with her parents for a while while she decided if she wanted to continue the marriage or not. That was the last update. I've not checked it for a new update, so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quickly. But... <clears throat> so... <clears throat> Apparently, he was just being really ignorant and on purpose. Yeah. So being ignorant on purpose is like, he's an asshole, but that does not negate the fact that you're still blaming this person for, like, their own, you know, well, I just don't see how I you think can the justify reason... this at this point from my perspective. Yeah, no. I, I do think she's an asshole for the way she worked it. Um, <clears throat> but from what I gathered, what she was meaning to say was that the reason why everybody hates her husband is because she does not 
ask him to respect their culture at all and lets him continue to disrespect it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have any opinion <laughs> aside from you're an asshole for blaming your sister for the actions of a completely separate person. Yeah, I think that um, she's the asshole to criticize um, her sister instead of the husband. <clears throat> but I also think that the real asshole of this story is him. Yes. I was trying to say that earlier, but uh, everybody got a little excited. Sorry, honey. It's okay. I get really Don't passionate. Me. Don't mind me. No, it's Look fine. at these eyeballs. Oh, I love them. Look at that. Look how sick. Yeah, literally. Have you guys seen the Cuphead show? No. It's a fucking good show. That's what inspired the look, if you're wondering. Yeah, it looks it looks familiar, because I know the game, obviously, but I haven't seen the show. The, the show's kind of funny, Loki. I actually only knew the show existed from last week when we were watching okay. serial killer stuff. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so there was another update that I missed. So, um... About to, this is actually part of the update that I gave. I do think she needed a dose of reality. So, the update was after OP called her and uh, said it was her fault and then posted on the Reddit. Um, <clears throat> a bunch of people were like being rude and being like, well, what did you accept his culture? And she's like, we were Thank colonized by his culture. Bitties. I'm so sorry. Thank you for the bitty shrimpy. Hello. And the bonk. And the bonk. Thank you for the bonk. Bonk, bonk indeed. Bonk, bonk, bonk. I appreciate you. We love the shrimpy. Thank you for the biddies. Um, <clears throat> but, um, so she just originally said that she, that they just didn't like her husband because he was too much of he he treated them like a call like he was a colonizer and trying to change their ways when he was the outsider um and told the sister that it was her fault for marrying somebody like that that her pick is the reason why they don't like invite them to anything anyway <clears throat> so two weeks after the original thing went down and she was essentially broadly called the asshole yes um and in fact, a lot of people were mad at her and her family for not trying to um, appreciate his culture. And she's like, he is westernized culture. He is everywhere. We are subjugated to his anytime we leave our community. Like, so. Um, no, I don't think that that should. I don't know. I feel like there is give and take everywhere, and you need to, like, give a little. Especially when it comes to relationships. It does not, it, like, it kind of, it matters that he take the time um, and get to know their, like, culture. But at well, the same time, it just, like... What, what was, how it was phrased was, um... I feel, and I'm quoting here, I feel like being asked if we've learnt his culture is kind of ridiculous, given how we're a former colony of his country, and his culture is dominant pretty much globally. I can guarantee not... most people have been victims of Western imperialism. And but here's the that thing, though. Saying. That's kind of vague, isn't it? Like, the Western world is, like, half of Europe and the United States and Canada. What, so... what I got was that he's American. 
Well, even then, there are different cultures within America. Like, you don't know anything about my culture in California because you weren't... The America's a huge country. Yeah. And states themselves are as big as countries. I don't think that they should have to sit there and earn his culture for him to respect them. But you shouldn't discount somebody else's, like, traditions or anything. Like, I don't That know. was, I think, I think... I can't speak to anything with his traditions, but it did feel a little bit like he was just disregarding traditions altogether. And there's also a, a kind of the catch twenty two of they why should they try to learn his culture when he calls theirs barbaric? So, um, which I kind of understand where he's seeing that, but also it was just really rude. Um, <clears throat> But, in any case, the update was that two weeks after the thing went down, um, there was a family meeting. The sister called it, and she basically yelled at their mom for everything she'd yelled at OP. Favoritism, preferential treatment, and then called their mother a bad parent. This, called, this caused her mom to start crying, and the father finally had had enough, because they'd apparently been dealing with this for a while. And started yelling at her, which had never happened before. So she started crying, and OP went, oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. All right, that's yeah. where it gets into family stuff. Yeah. And she... I have no uh, opinion on how their family runs. No. But she stepped in, and she found out that she that the reason why she's being so upset is because she lost out on marrying a dude who did not appreciate her culture. Um, and she really wanted her kids to be a part of their culture. Uh, oh, they're Soak, apparently? I don't know what that is. Um, what? But, it just as mentioned, uh, she's experiencing cold shoulders from Soak people, and I'm saying they're going, is that their culture? I don't know. <clears> hmm. <throat> But she went home to ask him to reconsider marrying her traditionally, told him her concerns and how it made her feel, and he dismissed it as voodoo nonsense, saying he thought she was more reasonable than that. Uh. And... I have no idea what would be considered <clears throat> voodoo about traditional weddings but you know like i don't i don't like that seems really there were funny. apparently a lot of people that um like heard him <clears throat> So, here, here was the explanation about the dowry. We are from a culture where it is customary that a dowry is paid when a woman is married. This is customary marriage and what one must do in order to start a life. The customary marriage serves many purposes. It shows you that a man is serious about you. He will, he'll have worked to save and declare his commitment to you and your family. It joins your family to his. It is considered the right way to marry a woman as it honors her parents, her family, and her community, and it lets the ancestors know that you'll be leaving the home. It's one of the principles of their society as they are family-oriented people, and that's how, just by their culture, families are forged. <clears throat> and he refused to marry her customarily because it was demeaning, barbaric, and backwards. And they had a European marriage ceremony instead. And they even attended the wedding, even though they did not approve. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, that's that. The end, the update to this is very, um. Yeah. Yeah. And apparently, it's... the reason why she was yelling at OP originally is because. OP had just had the baby, and that was why there was the slaughtering of the cow mentioned, is because that was part of the dowry her husband paid, and part of the reason he paid it was so that they could slaughter and eat the cow when her baby was born. And 
the sister started yelling because at OP because she didn't get that. <clears throat> and OP basically was like, you didn't get that because your husband didn't ever buy a cow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense because it's like you can't ask for something if it was never given to you in the first place. Kind of thing. I don't I don't know a lot about their culture, but I think that in that instance that one's a very gray area one. There's a lot left out of the story and I don't know enough about <laughs> About their culture. I do think that if he's going to marry somebody within that culture and they still want to be a part of that culture, he should have respected that and he clearly didn't. Yeah. I mean, I like, uh, first of all, he was being an asshole about their culture in general, like overly disrespectful about it. And like, I don't think that, I think that that should be a solid warning sign. Yeah, that to me is a huge red flag. <clears throat> but at the same time, like, all of that does not negate the fact that her sister still blamed her for the actions of somebody who is not her, and somebody who she is clearly pleaded with, and who refuses to cooperate. So, it's, I still think that the OP is an asshole, but I also think that her husband is an asshole. Yeah, I think that oh. OP's original question of, am I the asshole for telling my sister it's her fault? Yes. I think overall, OP was not the asshole of the the central core asshole of the story. I think that was the husband. And I think the whole conversation taught OP's sister something. You were going to say something, Mama? Well, the disclaimer I put on my story. Mm -hmm. No, it was a I'm telling an Am I the Asshole story where uh, I don't want to interrupt you. I just thought I heard you quote exactly what I put on my story. No, but um, I'll be honest. This story actually did inspire that disclaimer a little bit because the whole concept was um, he called his wife's culture barbaric and refused to marry by their customs. And then she was like, why aren't you inviting us to anything? And they're like, because he's disrespectful? So, yeah. Hi, Geekster. Thank you for the hydration. But, yeah, I'm with, I'm, I'm with Mangy on this one. OP is the asshole, but the core asshole is the husband. Yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> No. Yep. Okay, let's see. I know I've saved others. Mm. Oh, this one's just an ADHD hack, which was... um. Um, OP was saying lazy but works ADHD hat anytime I have to get something done and I can't focus I just start vlogging I don't post it anywhere but if I'm vlogging I can't use my phone and it means that I have to talk out loud about what I'm doing which means I'm thinking about it a little more than usual that's actually a really good idea yeah it's like the rubber ducky thing Mm -hmm. The rubber ducky? <clears throat> no? Okay. Uh, no. Um, elaborate. Uh, yes, please. Uh, like, some people, uh, people who are doing code sometimes will have a rubber ducky to talk the code through with, and saying it out loud allows them to figure out the bugs verbally. Oh! Yeah, it's like having an extra ear, but it's a placebo. I like that one. Yeah, that's why I have so many fucking stuffed animals on my desk. <laughs> that's I'll not true. Do that. But I wish it was. <laughs> uh, well, I would have went with that if you didn't say it wasn't true. <laughs> um, 
Also, hi, Kiki. I love the new pen. Thank you so much. It looks great. Um, how are you, darling? And are you guys ready for the next story? Yes, I am. Also, Shrimpy wants to apparently see the stuffies. Also, Man, Shrimpy- you want to see my stuffies? Shrimpy, I want to thank you for the biddies, by the way. I didn't get to- Lido was telling the story and I didn't want to speak over her, but thank you. I appreciate it. I don't want to show you my desk, Shrimpy, sadly. Um, because my desk is a wreck. Actually, you know what? I'll show you my desk in its wreck date. Okay. So, the next story is titled, Am I the Asshole for Not Telling My Sister About My Nephew's New Boyfriend? The hmm. answer is no, because the sister's homophobic, isn't she? She's Mormon. Oh, wait. Yeah. Can, can you do it. can you say it again? Am I the asshole for not telling my sister about my nephew's new boyfriend? Hmm. Definitely not. It's nobody's business but their own. Hold on one second before you start. Mm-hmm. Shrimpy. I'm going to put the picture of my thing in the craft room in Lita server. So there you go. And you only get a portion. <laughs> the the chameleon in that picture? The beanie baby chameleon in this picture? This guy for the people who are in the voice the video call with me? Yeah. This guy right here? Yeah. I don't remember what his name was, but my mother-in-law got him from a barber shop that was closing, and he would sit in the little kids who were getting their first haircuts laps and comfort them while the scary noises happened. So he came to live with me for his retirement. That is adorable, and I love that. Isn't it fucking cute? Happy retirement, because, little guy. Honestly, it's because, um, my, my, uh, my whole shtick is that, like, when it comes to, like, Build-A-Bears, I'm like, you put a soul in them, you can't leave them at the thrift store. Yeah. Because somebody put a fucking soul- They did a little dance, they did that fucking little dance in public, in front of someone, made a fucking stuffy, and then threw them away. Why would you go through the pain of doing the weird little dance? I'm taking him home. And I'm going to take care of him because it does not matter. You put a piece, it's like a horcrux. I'm collecting horcruxes from random people. <gasps> oh my god, I love that though. <laughs> Mangy is the keeper of, of the souls. <laughs> yeah. You can keep my soul. No, it's mine. No. Oh, I right. actually, uh, when I was a kid, one of, somebody I knew, I won't go into specifics but i ended up handing my soul over to them because i thought it was really funny that the idea of exchanging your soul for a foot shake like uh, like a handshake but for feet i was in middle school and i sold my soul to my friend for a foot shake <laughs> anyway wow okay then don't mind me <laughs> Yeah, oh, uh, that, <laughs> that was, that was a doozy, thank you. Um, wow. First of all, didn't, didn't consider that to be a thing. Secondly, <laughs> Meiji has a portion of his soul gone. <laughs> for a foot shake. Yeah, well, it was like, can you fucking sell your soul via shaking someone's foot? And my friend goes, I don't know. Let's find out. Now I have your soul. And so uh, what the, I guess it worked because he said so, which works. That works for me. Okay. I mean, I don't need it, obviously. Else I would have died when you took it. So. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. Damn. Dear Lord. I only partially 
believe in the val validity of stealing souls via offering them to people and them accepting. I just gave Al my soul. Like, I've never really felt very partial to it. And he was like, I'll take care of it. I'm like, okay, here you go, babe. Yeah, didn't we literally say something like that the other day? Um, yeah. Um... Can't steal someone's soul by stealing their nose. <laughs> Who needs, Who needs souls? souls? No one. Me. No one needs a soul. Souls are overrated. Wait, um, are you in my chat and not Al's? I mean, I thought I was in Al's. Go chat. fucking go talk to. My. Oh. My. Yep. My. Yep. Up. Oh god. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, what happened there? Um, uh, my computer shut down for a second and um everything looks weird. Oh my gosh! Hi Demon King, thank you for the raid. Um I'm <laughs> what the fuck? Can someone check on my stream to make sure it's still going? Because I am so I'm gonna check confused. on it. Thank you. It's like I'll black, hold up. I have no Party. idea what happened. Like, I can hear. Yeah, it's all black. Oh, God. No, it's not. Oh. Okay, it just came back up. Okay, so, there was lag. Alright. I don't know why that lag. just happened. We're all good now. Hello, Demon King. Thank you for the raid. I don't know why that sound alert was so fucking delayed. I don't think I have sound alerts on this properly then. But hello! Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate you. How are you, darling? How was stream? What were you streaming? To new people here, I am Lita Wabbit, the Bloody Rabbit, and uh, right now I am just doing a just chatting stream with my queens. I'm drawing. Excuse me, I am more than a friend. <laughs> okay, friend and husband. Thank you. Um, um, we are reading Am I the Asshole? And determining if they are assholes. I cannot believe this. I've been cheated out of one camera. Oh yeah, because I can't see you guys because my Discord's like, no, you don't need to see them. You could <laughs> check out of your Discord and been. check back. Okay, give me a second. I streaming different games. Ooh. There we go. Oh, yeah. Now I can see you guys. Um. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Like mm -mm. my computer was acting like it was gonna completely shut down and just went black, and then it came back, and I was like, okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm beginning to think that giving you the parts, my old parts, is not going to be enough. Don't make me sad. No, it your just means that I need to dying. save up to replace your computer. It's the last chapter. <laughs> Are broken. <laughs> Honestly, it's been so loyal, so long, and you're just gonna replace <laughs> The worst Why part is it's only fed? two years old! <laughs> two years of honest, hard work, and you're just gonna throw it away. Honestly, How did you do this? Honestly, I don't think I would, though. I'm gonna recycle it, actually. Yeah. Two years. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <Just suck. laughs> I mean, after Lita used it as a table for, like, what, seven months? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know those games. Interesting. Huh. Also, um, honestly, I should just, like, take a, like, yeah, a fan show. to it and clean it out. It's probably dirty as all sin. Oh, absolutely. Lucifer used to love rubbing up against it, so. Jesus Christ. Two years of being a scratching voice to Lucifer. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's just fucking around. And all it gets is a Maybe we'll recycle it. <laughs> Cruel. Unusual. The life of a computer. 
Anyway, we might set up a, a, a... <laughs> My friends are done with me. <laughs> yes. No, sad. That's fine. I love you. We love you. And we're not going to burn it, Shrimpy. Um, burn the computer. Where's the flame for the for the warbiter? But we we will, we, we might figure out a way to raise money to build out a new computer. Um, in any we case, will prepare for the arrival of the. <laughs> Stop I'm gonna laughing. move on. I'm gonna move on. I <laughs> love right. you. I'm gonna move on to the story. So, the story is titled, to those of you who just came in, Am I the asshole for not telling my sister about my nephew's new boyfriend? Now, the story goes that OP and OP's family come from a long line of Mormons. And their community <coughs> especially was very, very heavily Mormon. Read cult-like. And um, so when her nephew, when OP's nephew essentially came out as gay, um, her sister said, well, I can't have that, that kind of filthy sin in my household, so either you have to be straight or I'm kicking you out. So she kicked him out and OP took him in. <clears throat> and things were going well. He was kind of getting readjusted. They they went into therapy. And um they things seemed to be kind of like doing well and dying down. And he started to, to develop a crush on one of his classmates who they went to a festival with. And OP posted a picture with her kids, him, and the boy he had a crush on. And they're not actually dating yet, but even the implication of um, intention is enough in their old community to be considered dating. So, <clears throat> uh, she gets a call from her sister who is furious that OP didn't tell her that her son, aka OP's nephew, had a boyfriend now. And Wah. and I, Wah. I I got the implication that she accused her sister of allowing her son to become even more filthy. Um was the terminology. Yeah. And um so OP told her off and moved forward, but she felt bad, so she wanted to know was she an asshole for not telling her sister that her sister's son was seeing somebody. No, definitely not. If anything, I feel like they were protecting their nephew, which is very much needed in a circumstance like that. Mangy? No. Okay. I do so, not think she was the asshole. I'm going to I, I I also agree, but apparently this is one where she got labeled as the asshole for a very specific reason. Okay. She got labeled the asshole not for not telling the sister, but for posting that wondering if she was the asshole. And they were like, uh. You need more therapy than whatever you're getting. Because that should not have even been a question. And the fact that it was is concerning. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like the... Literally unanimously, the comments were like, you're an asshole for even feeling like you would have been the asshole for telling for not telling her. Yeah. You were protecting him. Yeah. So let's... the fact that you're contemplating that you should have told her, that's what makes you the asshole. And you need to seek more therapy. Which she did. And she's putting him through a little bit more therapy, and they're both doing better now. What? So. Yeah. And they've also cut complete ties with everybody from their uh, former community. Because they're not sure who uh, told the sister about it, but 
Clearly somebody is reporting back, so they're just cutting all ties. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. I'm done with the pictures Woo! I was working on. I wish to see. You will give me a moment. First person to get to see is this art channel. Ooh. Ooh. What song am I listening to? I like special ah, treatment. Ah, perfect blue by Soft Cult. I love this song. Ah, uh, you like special treatment, and I was fucking right. I should have fucking sent it to you. You've got me clued in on the secret. I should have fucking sent it to you, but I fucking sent it in a group chat. Imagine my fucking audacity. I'm sorry. I understand if you never want to be my friend ever again. First of all, fuck you. We love you. Second of all, secret. Uh, yeah, um... Anyway. Uh, yo, uh, the Mangus, uh, you didn't finish the piercing on the first one. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> uh, Maybe it was intentionally <laughs> like that. You don't fucking know. I don't like being corrected. <laughs> also, did you what? change your... Piercing. Your gauges? Suck my dick. Yes, I did. Oh. The... The... Yeah, like, yeah, the second one looks great. <laughs> yeah. It's fun! Also, take a look at the line art around the gauge. I don't believe one. in a line art around the gauge. <laughs> yeah. I've never fucking seen line art for the gauge in my life. <laughs> Other than that, you did beautiful and I fucking love it. I was just trying to look out for you. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Anyway. Uh, what? Oh, yeah. Shush. Anyway. Yo, it's okay. I love you, though. I love you. It's cool. What am I working on? Oh, this. Mangus needs no permission to be this bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> I got two cents for Hell's computer. I've given my two cents to the conversation. Jesus, mm. shrimp. Okay, I fixed it. Don't worry. <laughs> My cry of anguish was for not. <laughs> You're adorable. Okay, I will be right back. I'm gonna go grab more noms, because I'm hungry. Do you have a drink with you? Because I was gonna do hydrate, and I didn't know if I should, because I didn't know if you had anything. I do, but I'm gonna grab more. So, I will be right back. I love you. I love you, too. I'm a also, there might be a slight worrying in the background. My mom is making more roses. Oh, jeepers. These ones are going to be orange. <laughs> Yo, I can't wait to be done with fucking Red Dead. Yo, I need to be done with Red Dead. It's driving me nuts. Also, yes, much better. Thank you. You're welcome. I just wanted to like let you, I wanted to let you know. I, I, I'm sorry for bullying. <laughs> no, it's fine. It just... I was like, no, how dare you reject any sorts of me? Fuck you. No, it was just like it felt like a um, like a one of these things is not like the other, and then I realized. Because I was looking at it, and I was like, why do they look different? And then I was like, oh. And as a perfectionist myself, I thought you'd want to be noticed. Thank you. You know, my first PNG didn't have one of the teeth filled in, and so his tooth was whatever color the background was for, like, a year, because I kept looking at it and going, oh, darn it, and then just not fixing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I should fix that. I'm I not, should fix that. Oh boy, I'm that's not, bothering me. Yeah, I'm not gonna, but I probably should. I could, in theory, fix it that. I'm surprised that Lita didn't turn off her mic because her, her pen just moving. Yeah, but Lita said that there was going to be whirring in the background, and how could we not hear the whirring in the background? I mean, fair. But we wouldn't hear it. I mean, fair. Also, oh my god, that's so I'm trying to think of any Am I the Asshole posts that I like, but I honestly, if when I try to think about something, 
sometimes. It just just completely just flies out of my head. Me. <laughs> Yeah, because my favorite type of cake is, um... Don't mind me. The best yeah! Oh, big now! <laughs> Damn, yo! Man, yo! Yes. Dude, Dude, I look so uninterested. Oh, What's up? Oh, there you go. I was like, I was waiting for you to change on Lita's. Yeah. Yo, hi there. I don't mean to look so uninterested. No, you look great. Gosh, it's fine. <laughs> I was, um, uh, I, I was originally going to give him a little bit of a smile on the open mouth one, but I think that my depression leaked into my art for a little while. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Look like how cute he is, though. He is cute. I love him. Thank you. I gave him Alan's jacket. Don't ask. I thought it looked familiar. Yeah, <laughs> I thought it was cute. Smiler face. I also really yeah, love yeah, like yeah. the fairly odd parents floaty crown. It's part of my brand. It's, it's in my logo. I know, but I love the floaty crown. It makes me happy inside. I love it too. Honestly, fairly odd parents was my shit when I was a kid. Right. But I don't think I could watch. It's kind of like how I loved cotton candy when I was a kid. Yeah. And now I'm like, oh my god, please don't ever approach me with anything sweeter than a peanut. Oh, Jesus. Honey, a honey roasted peanut, mayhaps. I was talking to Bastard the other day. I, like, was eating M&Ms. And I was like, uh, these fucking M&Ms fucking suck. These are way too sweet. What the fuck is wrong with these M&Ms? And then I realized that I'm old. I'm old! Oh no! And now I'm like, I'm like, ew, sweet things! Ew, candy! Gross! How could you eat that garbage? And I'm old! No! I've killed my taste buds by smoking, and now I've aged by 40 years. I like spicy! I love spicy! Spicy is good, though. Um, I did also that dancing, which shows that about $25 Oh, yeah, Lita's mom? <laughs> wow. Yo. Rude. She's giving a TED talk back there. She is. It's cool. I just want to know what she's talking about, though, honestly. Because, like, I'm interested. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I've been thinking about having Bastard read me her story. Uh, gee, um, you're gonna have to have that right <laughs> beforehand by Bastard, because, um, Yeah, that's the main thing, is, like, I, I really get, I want to, like, support artists and everything, and then as yeah. soon as I show up, it's, like, uh, no, um, you ever been triggered before? Yeah, the, yeah, ever the, been violently upset the first what in three simple like yeah. bastard tried to read me one of his childhood like favorite books and i was like oh you know this is like a book that bastard read when he was like 12 right yeah and he likes it and he's like talking to me about the storyline i'm like okay we can read it and he's just like anyway first chapter like three pages in sexual encounter by like the the yeah. noises being described and i was like what is this and he was like oh wow we um this is the only one and i was like you didn't remember this one i don't believe you yeah well uh the first couple chapters of her mom's book are very triggering um that's why i'm saying like if you do bastard's gonna have to read it beforehand to kind of like you know Avoid that yeah. because I like to think that I you know. Have I've, you read her story? Yeah, I've I've read bits. I've read to like chapter almost twenty something. Um, oh my god! Yeah, uh, but like I said, the first I'm sorry, couple. I say, oh my god, like that's <laughs> a lot, but I don't know because I don't read. <laughs> How long are uh, the chapters? Are they long? They're yeah, they're relatively long, and there's like over forty of them. Um, but yeah, the Don't first, the first couple ones are very triggering, and 
you know, I've had trauma in, in my past. I think a lot of people have had a lot of trauma in their past. But my point being is I like to think that I'm a very strong person and that when stuff like that comes down to media and everything, whether if it's like I have returned a movie or a book or something, I feel like I'm strong enough to handle it. And I had to stop in the middle of reading it. So Wait, what? Uh, definitely so. Definitely something Bastard's going to have to <laughs> read through first and then, you know, kind of filter through. Um, Finn was talking to me about how he would like to read your mother's book. And um, I just prefaced with the fact that some of the first beginning chapters are very triggering. And that mm -hmm. if and when Bastard does read it to Finn, Bastard's going to have to read it beforehand because, yeah. Except mine's a little pinker. With a blue bottom. I have the same cup. Ooh. That is so cool. I could literally dress like you except for the serial killer glasses. I have a second pair. Uh, email them to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how bad your vision is. Oh my god, I can't wait until we meet in person and I can go, <laughs> that is your vision, and like borrow your glasses for a second. It's, it's wait, not... did I get bitties while I was gone? Uh, no. No, that was you. Never mind. Call me a bottom. What is? You're getting timed out again. <laughs> God damn it. Come here, you little shit. What did you say, my mom? You can say. <laughs> they weren't on my chat, but I did say thank you when it happened. It was a while ago. Um. But yeah, I have this. This pair is non-prescription because I didn't need a prescription at the time, because these were just blue blocking. But uh, now I need a prescription, so I'm not. Oh that... my fucking god, dude! Hold on one second. I'm not I that bad. Grab my glasses. I'm not that bad because I can read this. It's just a little blurry, and then when I put my glasses on, perfectly clear. So hold on. Honestly, going from 2020 vision to realizing your vision is failing is very daunting. Um, yeah, I agree. I thought I was dying. And that's You're probably well. No, that probably sounds really um, over dramatic. But like I said, when you have twenty twenty vision and your vision starts failing, you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> it's like when my hearing starts to go, and I'm like, wait a minute. And it's but just that's like got me worried. And it's just like, bitch, you have hearing loss. Shut the fuck up. Mm -hmm. It's fine. I mean, that means one day you won't have to bother with my babbling. Oh my god, that's a lie. I'm gonna miss that. I also accidentally <laughs> damaged my eardrum the other day, so... Is it the same one? Yeah! And it's the same one that I can't hear out of, ironically, so I don't... I don't fucking know. I hate my, my ears. Don't be mean to him. I love your ears. Yeah, I know, but like I said, I do need to cut my nails because I don't usually let my nails get long. So I forgot they were. And then, like, that's how I damaged my eardrum because I went to fix something in my ear, like an earbud or something, and I poked my eardrum. <laughs> I was like, ow. Fuck. Mm. Also, do you like Mancus's new pinch? Yes. I love the penge. I love it. It's adorable. Thank you. I will say he looks a little bit too disinterested. I don't think it matches my voice. Uh, yeah. I need him to look like he wants to set something on fire every time he opens his mouth. I'm yes, I love that yeah. idea. Also, I, just realized I gotta make you smaller on my screen now. Oh, yeah. No, you should have seen him on my screen because the other pinch that I have is like this big. It's like this big in the yeah, center of the screen cool. because I draw so small. Like, oh, my God. Hold on. I did this with Al's picture so I could just show you that one. But I always zoom in a lot and then I draw. Like, what's the point of zooming in? Just draw, chill. Yeah. I'm going to have you sniffing my hair. I want to see. <laughs> Hilariously, like you, you, when you said sniff, your your pinch like Moved. bounced a little bit. Yeah. See. Yeah, it looks like you're sniffing. I love it. Oh my god, yeah. It's in the you center do. of the screen. Yeah. And like, it's tiny <gasps> too. Like, yeah. This is the whole canvas. 
I do the same thing. And that's thing. pretty big. I don't know why I do that. Why do you do that? I used to do that with, like, um, I draw my back. best art on the margins, the empty sides what of homework saying? paper. Like, well, yeah. my best art I've ever drawn is, like, tiny, tiny. And it's always my most detailed art, too. Well, that makes sense, then, if you, like, zoom in and then you do tiny, tiny art. If you, if that's what you were used to for, the like, the longest time. Thank you, Uni. I worked very Uni. hard on him. I wanted to give him a body. Yeah, Uni said, I love your new, new Abby. Damn, Uni. <laughs> Sorry, I missed her. It's okay. I miss Uni, too. <laughs> Uh, we're not even playing games. We're 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 falling apart without you, Uni. <laughs> well, yeah, because my computer was just like, nah, I'm not gonna do it. I yeah, might, I might factory reset my computer because I feel that's like what? I, well, I feel like there's something on here that's just not supposed to be here, and I feel like that might be why. And it's freaking me out. Like, it's gonna be a bitch to have to put everything back, though. What if I drew us all in this style? Oh my god, that'd be cute. That would be really cute. I might be able you to try it You know what? I Thursday. think I figured it out. I think I figured out what's wrong with this PNG. Hi, Jules! How are you? Sugar Cookie! Hi! Hello, Uni. <laughs> Hello, Rain. Yeah. Thank you so much for the hydrate. I left my fucking cup in the kitchen. I'll get it. Go retrieve the cup from the kitchen. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. Did you just become my mom, Mangy? Yes. <laughs> mom, <laughs> Mangy. Mother, <laughs> Mangy. <laughs> Mother Mangy. No, I said thank you, Father, Mom. Son, and Holy Mangy Spirit. went, you're welcome. And I'm like, that was an angle to you. you. Oh, my God. Lita, what are you drinking? Water. Water? With mm -hmm. the spoon? Why is your oh, water no, that red? Was it's not. It's glitter on the cup. Oh, why would you drink water? What the fuck? All the things you could drink. I have a soda water. right here, but when people hydrate me, they're expecting me to drink water. Never. Yeah, also, what the fuck? also, also, Rain says that your character looks cute. Thank you. I'm sorry, Jules. I mean, I know the feeling of not wanting to shower, but when, after you do it, you'll feel better, I promise. Yeah! I yeah. usually make it into something fun, like, oh, if I go take a shower, then I get to enjoy using this and such a product. Oh, is that one we got so many? Yes. <laughs> I, and I think there might be another one coming, I don't know. Usually, I have to trick myself into taking a shower, right? So I'll, like, go downstairs, and then I'll, like, stare at myself in the mirror, and it's like a fist fight, right, between not showering and showering, and then I turn on the shower, and I lock the door, and I'm like, damn it, I'm trapped now, I have to take a shower, so then I take a shower. <laughs> I'm trapped now. Oh, Lord. I mean, I feel it's like... Hard. I thought it had a sore throat, but it isn't. It's laryngitis. Oh, no. the fuck? What? I hate getting Having laryngitis. Having a larynx is so 2007. <laughs> fucking god, Mangy. I usually smoke something that distracts me from the wet. Well, then why don't you? Fuck yeah. Yeah. Yo, I'm gonna smoke. I want, Cheers. I want to smoke something that distracts me from the wet. Please give. I mean, I yeah, I was, I was gonna up, say, you're I you're mind. among friends, um, very friendly stream. Also- uh -huh. We are very R420 friendly. Thank you, Rain, for the posture check and the hydrate. Yes, I did take my medication. Lita can vouch for me. I can attest for this. He was like, I'm taking my good boy pill, and I was like, thank you. Uh, I can also attest, because I trust my buddy. 
Well, I mean, that's literally what I said to Lena too. I'm like, I'm gonna take my good boy pill, and I want you to watch me do it. <laughs> yeah, girl. that that's why I'm 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 like being silly about it. It's just like he was very cute. Ooh. Shrimp, I want you to know. I know that you're no longer in my stream because I've banned you again, but <laughs> I love you and I think it's very funny to ban you. Yeah. And I enjoy it a lot. Thank you for Shrimpy being a good sport. Shrimpy is enjoying it, though. <laughs> Thank you for being a good sport. I appreciate it. And I don't actually dislike you. It's all a game. Everything's a game. This message is brought to you by Mangy's Anxiety. By game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, I love Mangy, but I've thought about changing Mangy so often, like seriously. Look at this motherfucker. I'm tired of his face. I, I, yeah, like why? I mean, he could get tattoos and dye his fur. Uh, you know what? I've actually thought about, okay, I don't know if you can see, like, do you see that I have these like two little dots mm -hmm. on my fucking face? They're yeah. like natural, and they're like one of my favorite features about me. Um, I used very to hate cute. them. They're my favorite thing about you. I used to hate them until this guy that I had a crush on in church camp. He told me that they were princess marks, and he told me that they were cute. And then I was like, yeah. no. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> it was a lot. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so I've actually thought about giving him those, but then I'm like, so one of my main problems is he's a red fox that's literally just red, fo red fox colored, and that is the least creative shit. But I'm yeah, terrible I mean, with color the... palettes. I mean, we could get together and fuck around with the design a little bit if you wanted to. I have a few characters in mind. One of them is a character named Golly. Oh, oh gee, Golly. Golly. <laughs> I will be right back. No. I hate you for that, and B needs to go to the bathroom. Me, Meiji and I. Oh my god, my Shame. username could be Golly G. Meiji no. and I are on the same wavelength. I hate <laughs> that. She's a snow leopard. Oh my god, that's adorable. A saber tooth snow leopard. Also, I do love those little marks on your face because they're like symmetrical, even. And they're just well, so cute. Not really. Well, they, this one's way higher than the other one. They, they seem symmetrical. Yeah, because I always have my head tilted. I mean, fair. It's my scoliosis. <laughs> it's okay, it makes you fabulous, because you just... Oh my god. <laughs> Don't mind me. Oh, fuck. It's also my hair, though. Like, I didn't tilt my head at all until I gave myself an undercut. And then I was like, whoa. You know what? Yeah, exactly. Because my head's shaved all around. Well, except for the back. The back's not shaved. But it's shaved on both sides. But I always tend to put my hair to the left because I'm left-handed. To one side, yeah. yeah. Wait, no, I, the, but I have mine to the left. But that's because my cowlick on this side makes it do like a cool like Aww. in my face thing yeah. but whereas on the other side it just kind of flomps out of my face which is not cool yeah. but if I don't like obviously not right now because it's been like super humid so my hair is like frizzy as fuck but like if I don't like tilt my head or style my hair it just parts down the middle and I look like what's his name He's from the Atlantis movies. Milo. Especially with my round glasses. Oh like, my god, yes. It's just fucking... I don't, I don't understand it. <laughs> Honestly, not... Not to sexualize you. Because you mentioned what? Milo. But fucking Milo, oh my god. Had my heart as a kid. Oh. He's so cute. Why? There's no point. I know. No what for? Point. What for? What for? for? Oh my god, Milo! Chill! <laughs> Chill! Remind me, cutting my hair is a bad idea. It is a bad idea, Jules. Don't do it. It's a trap. Um, unless you want to cut your hair, because hair grows back. No, don't I'm do not it. good. I, I'm not good at this sort of thing. Yeah, no. Be spontaneous. Do what you want to do. Honestly, life's too short. Cut your hair. Well, the last... Give yourself a beard, dye your eyebrows. I don't fucking know, just like YOLO. The last time Jules cut their hair, they weren't happy with it. And it's like, don't put yourself through that again. 
Oh, fair enough. You know, YOLO, but also, why would you do that again? If yeah. You only, if you've already done it once, yeah, then you don't, don't, like, don't it work out. Don't um, inherently put more stress on yourself. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, <laughs> dye your hair, then cut it. <laughs> Sorry, I did not mean to laugh into the mic that loud. It's just the the long ass pause of <laughs> and then just die your hair. I was trying to think of what to say. It just all oh, that. Oh, thank you. That fucking killed me. Also, hi, Mama Ren. Hiya. Sorry, I, it's it's the Mangy Show right now. I can't believe Uni has laryngitis. Well, I mean, I can believe it. Uni, that's so 2006. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's it's a it's a sad season compulsion. Oh yeah, no, I feel that. Yeah, I cut my hair. Well, I used to cut my hair very often. Um, I've been trying to grow it out, and I've been doing good and because then... <laughs> because I haven't grown it out. I have well, I haven't cut it since June. <laughs> to be honest, I can't remember you without your red hair, and that's probably because your hair has been that color for, like, ever now. No, it's only been this color since June. It's yeah, but I didn't start talking to you past June. Yes, you did. I don't remember anything. I had blue hair at the time. I don't believe you. <laughs> I've never seen you before in my I've, life. I've, I've, I've literally been like four. Who are you? <laughs> four different colors since. I have no idea. <laughs> no, you've always been this color. My bad. Good. Mm. Mm hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I I have no memory past apparently June. It's <laughs> okay. Why you guys are swapping stories? I want to read shit. Damn. What? I need to stop being a slacker and write again. Jules, you literally <laughs> Oh, Jules. God. Hey, writing is fun. You should do NaNoWriMo. I don't... God, like, look at me pulling out that word when I don't even know what it means. Hey, you should do NaNoWriMo. Uh, uh, yay, I know writers. I have never done that in my life. NaNoWriMo? Yeah, didn't know it was a thing until you said it, like, an hour ago, I did two hours ago. I only learned like two years ago when I moved up here with my partner and that was like the first time no 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 he told me about NaNoWriMo multiple times throughout our relationship but never like I, I'm just not a writer to be honest and I like I don't know I don't do all that but yeah Sorry, I was reading chat, and I can't fucking read, because I don't have glasses, because I lost my glasses, because I can't see. Nice, cool, you read, I'll read for you. Ooh. Ooh, woo. The lovely Ren read my, my AO3 stories. Oh, I did Bitch, why, yo, yo, why does my future mother-in-law get to read them, and I have it? Send me links. Please and thank you. <laughs> Damn! Making me out of the loop. Rude. Oh my god, I just realized that you guys haven't had any music this entire time, my bad. Well, it's okay, we've been filling the silence. You don't get music. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> no fucking music for you. <laughs> Reggie's just attacking me today, damn. No, not you, I'm talking to Chad. <laughs> I love you, sad. <laughs> Let's go. Heartbroken. Let's go. Alright. Back to ambient sound. Oh, Is it ambient? Is uh, it ambient or ambient? 
Either way, I've heard it both ways, I feel like. I have a character named Ambiance, but I feel like Ambiance and Ambient are correct, but I don't know. How do you pronounce them? I don't know. I feel like I need to see it. Like... Okay. Uh, and I was gonna try to show you via saying it out loud. <laughs> I would just not... Hold on. Uh, um, ambient. Um, mm, fair ambient. Enough. I have a I have a character named Ambiance, but because hearing you say it so often, I wanted to look at the word and say it because I feel like hearing you say it both ways confused my brain, and I was like, well, then I can't give you the actual answer of how I say it if I'm hearing it said both ways. Also, hello, Val. I've missed you. Also, welcome back, Trimpy. Hey, Gibo. Welcome Hold back, on. Trimpy. <laughs> I'm sorry for banning you. Anyway, no, I'm not. Anyway, hold on one second. I have to take off my headphones. All alone. It's just me now. Ambient like ambulance. Ambience like bomb. Um, what? Go take a shower. <laughs> Stop confusing me and go take a shower. Am ambient? Ambient like ambulance. Ambiance like. Got it, I think. Pretty sure. Not so certain, but pretty sure. Hi, Shrimpy! Welcome. I agree, you showers. I took one yesterday. The only time I like. The only thing I like about showers is getting into something cozy after. That's how I kind of get myself to take a shower, is like, if you take a shower, you get to wear something cozy. I've been here the whole time. Yeah, but you weren't saying much, so I wanted to say hello. Lita looks like she's about to hit someone with that bat. Yeah, probably. I wouldn't put it past her. I wanted to give you Gibo Cam because you always give me Gibo. Odin Cam. Lita. Oh. Him's a big boy. Yeah. Him's was so excited to be on the vet. Now he's confused as to why I'm not giving him loves. <laughs> that zebra blanket, he fucking came with that. <laughs> he came with it. It's like an inbox accessory. <laughs> I love him so much. He's naked right now. I can tell him. he's not wearing his Yeah, I want to pet him so bad. I know, right? But if you get it in his face, he'll bite you, maybe. <laughs> he doesn't He doesn't do it when he's not on the leash, so I'm thinking it's just like a leash thing, like the yeah. tension. Well, yeah, because no. he feels, he feels, probably feels like he can't do much of anything. So, yeah. ooh, I did not be doing yeah. that. But I mean, but it no, makes sense, and it's like... like I always feel bad when it comes to Gibo because it's not like it's your fault because you didn't own him his entire life. And it just sucks. Yeah. It does. It just sucks. And like, it sucks. I think, I think I'm actually kind of glad that Gibo ended up with us because like, I'm, I'm willing to put in the work of like, uh, making sure that he like has a muzzle, is being trained, is keeping up on that sort of thing, is getting baths, is not just locked outside. Yeah. And a lot of people would get a dog with behavioral issues like his and then just be like, ooh, this is a lot. Yeah. And I don't really, like, I'm kind of glad that he's with us because, like, this happens all the time. People will rehome animals that have behavioral p issues and not tell the other people that they have behavioral issues. Yeah. And it's like, <clears throat> that that's what leads to people getting hurt. Like, you need to, like, pay attention to what's happening. But to be fair, the woman before us, she, like, she adopted him. They Came told back. her he was 40 pounds. 40 pounds! He's yeah. 72 pounds! Yeah. He's oh a big boy. Oh my god. They told her he was, like, 40 pounds. Oh my god, Odin weighs more than Gibo? Jesus Christ. Gibo's short. He's Honey. a little squatty. 
Odin is fucking massive. Yeah, yeah. Odin's like a wolf, and Gibo's <laughs> like a very beefed up uh, hound dog. I mean, yeah, that makes sense because, like, I live with Odin, so I don't see a sort of difference. Uh, okay, here's the thing. Though. I have a oh, normal like sized dog comparatively. He is tiny compared to Odin. Ooh. And yeah, my know, dog is about n- normal. Gibo oh. is short, but he's strong. Like, yeah, he he's... is all fucking muscle. He has yanked fucking nice six feet tall Envis right off of, like, benches and shit. And me, too. Like, trying oh. to go say hi to people. Also, side note, I am not putting down the bat, Shrimpy. Bunk. Mine. Bunk. Hi, Oz. Do you like my new PNG? Hi, I feel Oz. like he's a little bit too in- disinterested. I think I might redo his open mouth look. I'm okay with the closed mouth one because that's the face that I make when I'm idle. It literally, it literally is. And also, yes, I did. I'll take- be like, I'm sorry. Did I make a mistake? Did I say something? And Mangy's just like, no. I'm drawing. Also, I did take my bets today. Thank you for asking, Mal. Why does Mangy look high? Because Mangy is high. Mangy is always high. Hi, my sweet boy. Aww, he loves you. But yeah, I, I love part you of too. me is, I like, Odin went to the vet one week and then literally he was 108 pounds. He gained another 8 pounds a week later. The, like, boy. And I asked the vet, I was like, is this okay? She's like, no, he's perfectly fine. Like, he's very slim. He's just he's massive. massive. Like, what? He's like a... What is he? What, breed-wise? He's like a Malamar. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's German, German Shepherd, and he's Greater Swiss Mountain Dog. Yeah, he's just That's two very topic. big breeds. They... I think I, I think Gibo is American Bulldog mixed with, like, a Pit Bull Terrier. <laughs> But yeah, they're I mean, all in the same kind of like, like Pitbull is kind of an umbrella term at this point. Yeah. Damn it! Why couldn't it be me who gets bonked? Because you're not being mean. True. Hi Oz, welcome into my stream. I will go ahead and give you guys a heads up. I'm going to be practicing with my my uh, my tattoo gun. So if you hear a buzzing, that's what that is. It's so windy and stormy outside. I'm so happy. I'm okay, just going back to Lita's chat. Aww. I wish Odin was down here now. <laughs> I wish I could show you guys Gibo, man. Yeah? I mean, maybe I'd be able to pull up a picture of him on stream. Thank you for the lurk, Baba. I love you. <laughs> he says thank you for the lurk and that he loves you. Love you too, Thor. Um. So yeah, anyway, I love Odin and I miss him and he's massive. Here we go. Here's a picture of my boy. He is massive. Like, he will literally take up the entire bed if he could. I got a picture of him up on my stream. This is one of my favorite pictures of him. He's laying on a baby Yoda, but he's so photogenic in this picture. He is. Oh my god. Isn't he cute? And what he a loves handsome accessories. boy. He's so handsome. His favorite color is yellow. I only know that because he always stops to smell the yellow flowers. Oh. That's... He's so cute. He loves, like, accessories. Like, if I grab his collar, he gets so excited. Or, like, he, he has a whole bunch of um, pajama sets. And he has um, one of the, the, it's like a bandana. We have one that says you can't dig with us, and it's got, like, skulls and stuff oh on it. Oh my god, that sounds so cute. I love that. He's so fucking cute. I love him so much. He's, He's so cute. Dig with us. His name is Gibo. He's my boy. Anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and... Yeah, I was talking to my mom yesterday about Odin, actually. And I think Odin's ears would have stood up. If he wasn't where he was when I got him. So, like, Odin lived on a farm. And on the farm, they had, like, a summer camp thing. Because they had horses. Like, they had, like, a 
like a riding camp there and there was always a bunch of kids there and the first thing they would do is go for his ears and play with his ears and since he was so small I feel like with them like pulling and flopping and you know all that oh no with his ears is why they're flopped and why they don't stand up like a German Shepherd's does you think they broke the cartilage poor baby could be I mean, a bunch of, like, eight. Oh, yes. Hi, Oz. Yes, I am practicing on fake skin today because um, I just got some, what, what's it called? Uh, Sanaglide, which is supposed to make it a little easier to tattoo a straight line. I'd let you tattoo something on me. I'd let her I would totally be me. down to do a tattoo on you. Her mother-in-law already said that she could tattoo her. Which is leaving. He would he play? But I am, I am still learning how to use the gun, and so, yeah. like, part of it is kind of like trying to keep a steady hand. Mm-hmm. And just like, you know, make sure I'm loading up the gun properly. Make sure that like I can draw a circle, make sure I'm not going in too deep, stuff like that. And I was told, honey, you, when you're using a gun, you need to be using Santa Glide. And I was like, all right. So I'm testing that out right now. Oh, Lord. Uh, hi, Lizer. I'd like that you practice on me on my, my leg, probably. You're very sweet, Lizer, and I would totally uh, practice on you. The way that I'm working this out is I'm using fake skin until I'm confident and then I'm going to go on my leg but without any ink uh, and then kind of progress to where I'm currently working on my tattoos which is my hand and I'm not going to put in ink until like I am 100% confident with the way that I'm using it. Yeah, yeah. Well, You're makes... loading a gun. It's a tattoo gun. Yes. I need new ink anyway. All right, Lizer, what kind of a tattoo would you want? Oh, I just found the cutest picture of Odin. Him's, him's ears. Him's ears. Little oh, baby. I love my boy. Yeah, I think Al sent me like a video of a tattoo teacher yes, I grading did. her students' work, and I was like, oh. I think my dog needs to go outside, so I'm gonna let him outside. Okay. I was like, that doesn't make me self conscious at all. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. It's okay. Wait, hold on. Did you see how tall he is compared to me? This is like, this is my knee. Yeah. Kibo. Mm -hmm. Kibo. Oh yeah, he's small oh, compared he to Odin. Is, yeah. He's Odin, little. Odin is like he, to my hip, stocky. but I'm also short, so. He's little, but he is strong and deceivingly long. I'm trying to find a good picture of Odin. Look at your love bug, look at you. I want to put a picture of Odin on screen. <laughs> I want y'all to I see I will Odin. say that Using the Santa Glide is a hell of a lot easier than using it without the Santa Glide. I don't have one of him standing. He is a tall boy, though. Like, I'm gonna. Yeah, German Shepherds are huge. The last German Shepherd we ran into had Gibo, like, twice in size. Oh, uh, that's the thing, though. He's not even, like, j this is gonna sound, like, really pretentious, but he's not just a German Shepherd. He's a German German Shepherd, which makes him, <laughs> like, even taller. He's not just a German <laughs> Shepherd. Um, he's actually, uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, it's like because a lot of Americanized German Shepherds have hip problems, therefore they can seem smaller than they are. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, I want to get a tattoo. I'll give you a tattoo too, Dragon. I'll be right back. I asked you if I can join you in his box for dumb assholes. Oh. <laughs> what did he say? Oh, jeez, that went up too much. 
Also, no, hi, big see. eyes. I don't think I said hi, but hi. For your practice, probably a sim. Jesus Christ. Probably a simpler design, like a bat or something. I mean, yeah. I can do a bat. I can also do a pumpkin. I don't know how a man can get tattoo on their ding dongs. I've seen people who got piercings on their ding dongs. I've seen women that have gotten tattoos on their. Although. Oh god, should I scar you guys? Do you want to get scarred? Not really. I've already told you about this. Oh fuck. You were just like, I'm going to ignore that. Like, you were just not having it. <laughs> but yeah, I know a thing that they sometimes do to ding-dongs that will scar everyone. Okay, we got a we got a yes from Shrimpy. Where's the dancing trans bunny? I had to remove the dancing trans bunny because uh, he was really distracting for me. Uh, my cousin got a dingle dang piercing. I was supposed to go with him and get one too, but good thing I didn't because he lost all feeling. Yikes! Like yeah, forever. That can yeah, if they don't do it properly, you can. Um, same thing happens for nip piercings, too, sometimes. I fortunately went the opposite route, which I didn't have any feeling to begin with, which is why I got them done in the first place. Actually, I've been scarred my whole life. Uh, what is it? But he was so cute. He was very cute. I might put him back, but we'll see. And... Damn. So... Uh, I still want a nip piercing. Nip piercings are great. But what the scarring thing is is apparently it is a thing for some people to surgically slice their ding dong up the underside um excuse me mm -hmm. sometimes just completely dead open this picture of you better put it back or we're gonna riot okay i'll put it back eventually yeah that was my reaction, Dragon! I found this out in the middle of the night the other day, and I was just like, I'm not sleeping now. Fuck! Woody <laughs> Odeon. I post picture on stream. Of the baby. Of the baby! Is it Odin? Yeah. That's Hold the on. only baby I have. No, Pixie's baby. Like, split tongue, but with dangly bits? Um, not all the way. He's the Odin. So, cool. Not my thing, but cool. Um, basically, it was just like, it normally looks like a hot dog. It looked like a hot dog bun. Is it bad that I've done that? A little, yeah. <clears throat> it was very uncomfortable to walk, look at. I didn't know that, sugar cookies. Wow. <laughs> Odin is very cute, yes. Odin is best boy. Oh, excuse me. I'm watching so many streams right now, it's ridiculous. I'm just bouncing. Oh? Well, yeah, I'm trying to support my peoples. I got you open, and I got Mangus open, and I have two other friends open, because... I, I don't like when I see my friends not having a lot of engagement. It makes me sad. Yeah, I feel that. Apparently women still get that nip piercing then can leak out milk. Hmm. Yeah, I already knew that. I'm back. I did not know that. <laughs> yeah. What, the milk thing? I wasn't here for any of it. I just got <laughs> back. Oh, she's talking about tattoos. I thought she was talking about a real guy. No, I'm talking about tattoos. Um... Thank you for the alert, Shrimpy! 
So, yeah, um... I was telling my chat scarring things while you were gone. <clears throat> do you- what? Do you wanna know? I wanna know. Of course so, I wanna know. Why the fuck would I wanna know? I wanna know. Sometimes... Dudes will... Have their dinglings turned from hot dogs into hot dog buns. Hot. They'll just have a surgical slice right up the underside. Ah. Balls to tip. And I'm just like, why? Why would you yeah, do that? Yeah, like, I don't... <clears throat> you, like, separate them and, like, put half in half. Well, it's not like... It's not like a It would be funny tongue. if it was, like, a fork. Yes, that would be yeah. very funny. It would be, but no, it's not like that. And I don't understand why, because it also screws up their ability to pee. I'm just like... Yeah, like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? That's interesting. Well, to be fair... Can I be hit with that? Yeah, sure. And to be fair... Then you get staple piercings, so that it looks like you stapled it back together. Oh, dear God. That's sick. That's sick. I'd do that. I don't know if that would work. What? Staple piercings. Or you could just use a real stapler. I mean, I guess. Oh my god. I am not here for this conversation. I am mentally checked out. <laughs> my bad. La, it's cool. It is certainly a very interesting conversation. Sometimes... Oh, Jesus Christ. Ping is for the week. <laughs> Rimpy. I love that the second that that uh, Liza and Dragon get here, we go straight towards Degeneracy. My bad? Hey, look, I just got here. I no, was you're fine. My dog was comfy. I said Liza and Dragon. It's their fault entirely. I'm blaming them. Love you guys. I got a bruise on my knee, and mm. I low key kind of like it. Yeah, I I feel that way. Like Some every time I get a bruise, aesthetic. I'm like, bruh, I fucking love this. This is so cool. <laughs> Bruises are neat. I had one. I had like a really big one on my thigh. It hurt, but then it was like purple and like red and I was like whoa this is like character design <laughs> storytelling I know dad's not home every sound sound like dad huh Gibo dad whoa dad there's a ghost in your house who well yes but Hmm. Yeah. I'm His back. name is Mr. Yeah. Edwards. Hi, Sorry, I'm being interrupted. Don't worry about it. I am gonna worry about it because that was Don't rude. Don't worry about it. That was rude. I'm oh, sorry. Oh. Oh gosh. Okay, Meiji reminds me of my kid Charlie. Finally figured it out. Wait, have I seen Charlie? What? No. Um, but yes, Mangy is very much like your children. Only so. real homies pee on themselves and try to them. Whose children? You! My friend Lies or why? I hope not. I'm oh, sorry. My bad. <laughs> Wait, what? <clears throat> what was that? I missed it. I said I'm sorry for reminding you of your children. I'm sorry if... Oh my god. If... Whoa, no, I'm sorry about your children. <laughs> I've like thinking about what I've been saying and I'm just like, no. Dude, look at this. Look at this. This is what I hate about having a mohawk. Do you see this? What is this? Yeah. What do I do with this? Fucking nothing. That's all my that's I all mean, the back of my head. Yeah, the back of mine is is Cause I have naturally wavy curly hair, and it's like, how, how? What do I do with you? 
This is my natural wave curl. <laughs> it probably looks a lot better when I'm not... It's not humid as fuck outside. Attitude not looks. Well, yeah. I, yeah. Li I like maybe. a child to grow up at, like Mangy. I showed you Charlie and Peg Saturday. Yeah! And like I said, uh, Mangy is very much like your children. <laughs> it's necessary to stay warm. Ew! Casually walks by into chat half asleep. Hi, honey. I'm not sure you want to be here. Uh, why? <clears throat> What's wrong with talking about stabling your phallus back together? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking I don't everything. understand. What? What's the problem? Oh, my bad. <clears throat> Eva, why are you being a weirdo? You all better not. Too late. I'm here. Welcome in. Welcome. Man, I don't want to cut my hair. Don't, it's a trap. No, it's not. Look at my head. I've been cutting my own hair since I was like 12. With scissors. Well, obviously not anymore. I've upgraded to a razor. And still scissors. <laughs> But I just I pull it off. I don't know. It's called it's Velcro it back together options. No! Jesus Christ. Water however leaner havers beware, you're in for a scare. Indeed. Aw, now we on. We love you. You're so sweet. I don't know. I kind of like this like the the stapled look like instead of stitches on um on like Frankenstein yeah, and characters like that I like the staples cuz they look girthy and more inhumane yes they do but also literally you could get that same effect with the Jacob's piercing you do not need to cut your dick in half yeah you could cut your dick in half though and how cool would that be not very. Also, once you did, you couldn't staple it back together, fun fact. That's not how any of this works. Man, I am glad stream is about to end because I am uncomfortable. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, yeah, I was trying to not talk about this. <laughs> Look at Hello, Gibo. Hello, Denox. Denox. Gibo is adorable. Hi, Denny. I'm going to ignore that dragon because ew. I'm ignoring everything. <laughs> Hi, Gibo. Sweet noodle. I told Bastard that we're gonna start sleeping with him on the bed again. And like he's I don't know if you've noticed, he's not very tall, but he's very long, and he is like a tube as a dog. So he's kinda like it's kind of like having like six bags of potatoes between you and your partner but also he does thank you for leaving your blankie behind he he like does this thing where when he wants like pets he stretches his legs out all the way so he becomes like a four foot square of fucking <laughs> uh, like a four by four square taking up the fucking bed and also he smells bad but it's cold! That's and even adorable. though he has a Tempur-Pedic dog bed and four blankets to himself, I don't care! It's cold! Ten oh, weeks. poor baby! If he's cold, you're cold. What? Let him in. Jeez! Look at how long! Also, um... Strangely enough, you crave hot dogs? Why? Why? Um... Oh my god. Hi, Nix, and no! I mean, I am drinking water, so. Nice. <laughs> Thanks, dragon. I love that now y'all can see that. Acting like that. Acting like that. You way too hot to Have be Have you listened like to that. the collaborated list yet? On, on Spotify? Yeah, the one that I sent out. Al collaborated. Oh. 
Well, I can send it to you, too. No, I have not yet. I can't listen to Spotify anymore. Heartbroken. Sorry, it's I love because you. because of the commercials. Fuck the commercials, honestly. If I ever lost com if I ever lost Spotify Premium, I'm pretty sure I'd never listen to music again. Mm. It's like, I, I don't know what to do. Like, what do I do with myself? There's like 14 seconds between the next song and you've taken me out of my head. Thank you for the hydrate. I'm scared and I'm angry and I'm frustrated. <clears throat> I can't. Oh, my eyes. Oh, jeez. Um, I question wound tattoos are just the new things. Yeah, I just like them. I just like the way it looks. Um, but I actually have Apple Music, which is the only reason that I can still listen to music at all. So I have a Apple? I don't know what Apple Music is, though, so. Um, is Apple Music is, yeah, it's something you can pay for a year's worth. I think it's like a hundred bucks. And then it's ad-free listening, and you can just listen to any song you want. OMG. Nah. Honestly, paying that much money? Nah. <laughs> Sorry. Also, Not on my iPad uh, today. What do you mean I need five night shards? Don't mind. Didn't I just put some in? <laughs> I feel attacked by Lita. Why do you feel attacked by me? You're not looking at your camera, are you? I am now. What were you just singing? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hi, baby. Apple Music is YT... White music equivalent, but for Apple. Yeah. Basically, wait, didn't Apple Music used to be iTunes? Yes, it did. Um, didn't know womb tattoos actually have different meaning? Yes, they do. They do. I looked up the meaning of a symbol because one of my characters received a necklace that had like a specific symbol on it. It was like a heart with three swords through it, which is the three of swords, obviously. And then I, like, looked up, because, like, I was looking up different, like, potential meanings, because I didn't know what the symbolism meant. Mm -hmm. It was, like, very enjoyable. Anyway, that's related somehow to what you said, I promise. <laughs> Symbols of womb tattoos having different meanings. Yeah. Like, the Three of Swords, it's, uh, when you have a sword through a heart, it symbolizes betrayal, and, like... Be like a breakup or a death or like a tragedy. See, it's your heart. It's your heart. It, they stab you. <laughs> Forgot how to fucking talk for a second. Leave me alone. Okay. There's ads on your channel, by the way. What does yours mean, Lita? Um. That is personal. And also, I don't really have one. I meant guess, not a question. Uh, but I think if I had to give mine a meaning, it... To me, it's just kind of like... This, this is mine, and nobody but me gets to put any claim on it. If that makes sense. So my brother has the same necklace that Austin Powers wears but it's a trans Aww. that's cool apparently the spade symbol is supposed to be this way here also um fucking upside down pineapples yes hmm? swingers oh upside down pineapples bye Kibo well if it means that put it on L um uh, what what? What? I'm confused. I'm st what the f- I didn't- I'm, I didn't say anything. I'm terrified of that implication. What do you mean by that, Val? Huh? Hit me- oh! Because <laughs> I said it means that this is mine and nobody else gets to put any sort of claim on it. 
Oh. I See, thought, I thought you were talking about the pineapple. Yeah, I thought you were the swingers. I'm like, what the fuck? No. What do you mean? Who are you? Get out of my house. <laughs> Incorrect. I was terrified for a second. I was scared for you. Thank you. Somebody should have been. <laughs> we were both equally <laughs> terrified. <laughs> Ah, oh, oh, my god. My mom left before I fucking showed her my fucking PNG. This oh. is such a cute PNG. Dude, what the hell? PNG. My mom. Come back, back my here, mom. mom. Wait, hold on. Maybe she's not. Hold on. Hold it closed with things options. So, jeez. So I don't remember group. following any of these people. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I love playing on swings. Get a bunch of spades. That's oh Jesus Christ! This Alexis. Um, should I point out that that's not what that means? What is that? What does that mean? Swinger? No. That's the wrong name. Alexis is the wrong name. Alexa. Alexa. I was like, that's wrong, and I don't like it, and I need to fucking change the fucking word so that I can move on with my life. So I temporarily just stopped listening to you because that was not the right word, and now I'm back. Hi. <laughs> Made you had a oh, freaking wow. old person moment. My entire existence is old person moments. Fair. Very fair. I love the PNG so much. He just looks so done with every everyone. Yeah, I've got like the biggest <laughs> grin on my face right now, though. I'm like, yeah, kicking it. Alex, you can shove a pineapple up my ass. What? Alex, you can shove a pineapple up my ass. Lead. Lead up. There's like 14 people that I follow. Oh Jesus. Also, <laughs> a swinger is not somebody who plays on swings. Yes, my love. Are you gonna be streaming for a bit longer? Uh, no. Okay. I do not think so. Okay. Hmm. Man, you. dude, you're on, you're more on time than my therapist is half the time. So, uh, bitch, that's my <laughs> thing. I oh, I hated my therapist for that. Fuck that bitch. Oh, sheep is streaming. Yeah, I was I was thinking sheep. I'm thinking sheep too. <laughs> Unless you're planning on streaming a little longer, darling. <laughs> yeah, that's why I fixed my gaming screen. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna switch to something. I don't know yet, cause I don't know if Jelly's gonna go live soon, and I don't want to start playing Jelly's games if Jelly's gonna join. But I should probably also ask. You should ask. Go ask. I am looking at tomorrow's collaborations. I don't think I have one. We, oh, I do not. So that means. Thank you for the hydrate, big Oz. I've that got tea. means we're probably going to finish Red Dead tomorrow. I hope to fucking God we do. Unless. <laughs> don't you fucking start that unless. Unless you want to play something else with me. Well, I, I mean, don't know. Is tomorrow Wednesday? Yeah, tomorrow's Wednesday. I want to get it done. I want to get it done and over with. I want to move on. I hate it. I'm dying inside. <laughs> okay. Ending stream. Okay, then I'll take my sick ass to sleep. Go to bed, Lizer. But before you do... Follow Mangy, they are darling. Thank you for the stream. You're welcome, Rain. As always, everybody, be kind, be courteous, be awesome. I will see you all tomorrow, and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Also, apparently, Dragon has a red dead now. <gasps> <laughs> I love you guys. Bye! As for my end, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had so much fun, even though... I didn't get to play Minecraft because my computer is going to start taking a shit. This is great. Anyway, we're going to finish Red Dead tomorrow. <laughs> if it kills me, it might. We'll find out. But I'm going to send you guys on over to Mangy, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye!